All right. But make sure everything is working in tip top order, tip top shape. <laughs> All right. I do have my headphones on. That is something that I am doing right now. I'm going to actually turn up my uh, headphone audio. Check the audio because I did not do any audio balancing for any of these games coming up. That's for fucking sure. All right. So, welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything that lies within and between, to more Simulacra, right? Well, to the whole stream in general, because tonight, I was like, all right, first of all, I wasn't going to stream tonight, I was going to stream tomorrow, and actually, no, I was going to stream, like, tomorrow morning or something like that, anyways, so, I was like, I got some free time tonight, why not, uh, why not stream? And I was like, well... What I plan on doing is going back to um, Great Ace Attorney, right? And at least finish the first game in the series and then think about uh, what, think about if I'm going to continue straight to the next game of the collection or not. But, as I was sitting there thinking, I was like, you know what? There's some playthroughs that I've done that I didn't finish on uh, this channel, and I have the streams. Like, on my computer. I have them archived, right? I just gotta upload them. And I was like, huh. I should really get to uh, doing those. And finish finishing those, right? So I was like, I got a lot of time tonight. A lot of time. It's a rare occurrence. I got a lot of time this week to stream. It's a rare occurrence, really. So I'm like, why not use this time to um, actually sit down and finish some of these goddamn playthroughs, right? Let's do that. Get that out the way. Right? Kingdom Hearts is done. We finished that. That's out the way. That's going to be uploaded. I uh, think like at the start of next month or something like that. Because Persona takes forever to upload. Jesus fuck. That and Atl Atlas is a bunch of assholes because they're like, eh. Let's, let's copyright everything. Right? Pain in the ass. Um, so, three games tonight that I was like, we really need to finish you know one simulacra i think around what december or january around that time i did two streams of this game and we made it pretty far i'm assuming at least it feels like we made it pretty far right and then i kind of just left off on it and i was like you know what it's kind of kind of sucks to not finish that right the other game tonight uh, other two games. One of them is Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, right? At the beginning of this month, I want to say. Um, you know, I came in, did one of my random streams or whatever, and we made it really far into the game, right? Over like a course of what four streams, because I have free time to like just stream whatever I want to. So I'm like, you know what? We're getting near the end of Ratchet and Clank. Let's do that. And then I was like, you know what? I just completely left behind. Kena, Bridge of Spirits. I haven't finished that game on my own time. I haven't, um, I haven't finished it on stream. And I don't know how long... Well, I heard the game wasn't that long, but, you know, to each their own, right? But, um, you know, it was like... I was like, I don't know how much more I have left of that game. And I was really enjoying it as I was playing it. The only problem was that I was enjoying it a little too much, and I was kind of quiet the whole entire time. Just taking it all in. It felt good to play that game. Right? So I'd like to go and uh, finish that up if we can. So without further ado, let's uh, start back up with Simulacrum. I think where we last left off. I remember the phone reset it itself, right? We started hearing like scary noises at the fucking... At the... At like sound like someone was knocking on the door or whatever. Right? Um... We were talking to, what the fuck are their names? Greg and... Greg and Steven? I don't remember. Greg and Steven? Greg and Paul? Greg and... Greg and... Someone else. And then, I believe I told the friend that, uh... That the girl we're looking for, whose name I already forgot, I think her name was Emily or some bullshit, I don't remember. Um, that we have her phone, right? 
So, uh, let's continue. It's been a while. I also think the game might have like glitched out or whatever. I forgot that the background on this phone was her just staring into my soul. All right. <laughs> We're getting back into it. Marv. Oh, Marv's the pervert guy, right? From like the job. All right. Got the reset. I'm in. Cool. Remember what you're there to do, all right? Yeah. Get the phone back up, right? Give me a sec. All right, Marv. I'm leaving it up to you, buddy. Starting now. Gonna take a while to complete. I don't understand what's going on, but you're the only one who wants to access this computer, right? It could be. Uh, who, who could it be? Yeah, no, you don't need to know, Marv. Fuck off. Who else could it be? Well, I'm waiting for the reset. Some dude came in demanding to use Anna's computer. Anna, that's her name. He caused quick scene and security took him away. I think his name was Greg. Is he with you? Oh, wait, does Marv know I'm not Anna? Hold up, wait a minute. Wait, no, why is it? Oh, what the? Let me see. All right. Blackmail? That's Oh, we're blackmailing him. That's what we're doing. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so he knows that I'm a fake. See, with me? I might know him. Yeah, I might know him. Well, getting him was not a part of the deal. Your friend is going to regret doing that. Finally, it's done. System restore. All right, cool. Actually, recover. I will leave you be. James. Who the fuck is James? Who the fuck is James? Hold up. Where's James? Um. All right. Hi. Hi there. Uh. That's just corrupt. This thing's gonna suck my fucking soul away. Uh, let's see. Have you found her yet? Wait, what? I'm sorry, what the hell? Reset that one. There we go. Help you got a lab report doing less than two hours. Oh shit, really? Contingent span of a walnut. <laughs> also, hello. Have I found her yet? Uh, I'm getting closer, I think. I like to think. Really, what's the lab report about? Is it about quantum theory? Let's see. Let's see. You. You, what? Oh, hold up. She is running out of time. You need, oops. Oh fuck, really? Did it did it really just do all that? Running out of time. You need to hurry. I don't like how silent it got. Alright. Can you help me at least? Alcohol dehydration, but you spent all yesterday catching up on notes to understand what I missed out on the past few weeks. Were the notes the same as... Was the notes in regard to the alcohol dehydration? Why did I say it like that? Dehydration? Let's see. The answer is in... Fucking... Damn it. I wish I can just like... There we go. The notes are related to it. So is everybody in the class doing the same? Or is it just you? <laughs> Gotta give me more than that. How do I know what to look for? She met me! She met it. I'm not it. It's not me. 
find me, find it. So what the fuck is this? Is this like it follows or some shit? Is she still alive? Time is short. If you fail, she will share my fate. Fate's day night? Really? <laughs> you had enough time to write a fucking emoji. Okay, cool, man. Whatever. Alright, I don't like that he's doing this shit. Alright, you gotta stop now. You gotta stop with the emojis. Stop typing me, dickhead. Sent a photo. This the location? Um. Alright! Oh, now she's smiling at me. You think that was cute. Alright, whatever. Go fuck yourself. We had unknown alcohols, and the group had to identify and write out. Uh, write out. Oh, fuck, I can't even read no more. Write our own lab report on it. Had unknown alcohols. What do you mean by that? Like, like did the did the professor fucking fill a vodka bottle with water, and like one with real vodka, and just fucking poured it in a cup in front of you guys and said, "Which one's alcohol?" Because I know the answer to that. The answer to that is just like pour one in a bottle of water and then shake it. If it bubbles up, then it's fucking then it's vodka. I got used to doing that because I would come home sometimes and then I would go into the fridge, grab a bottle of water, swig it down, and then I start coughing my lungs up because I'm like, why is there vodka in a fucking water bottle? Remember when I did that shit? I went, who's putting shit in water bottles? Why are you hiding? <laughs> why are you hiding this? You got a problem? Out here wanted to get hydrated and it was fucking me up. Hmm. Let's see. What do I know about alcohol? I think when people say they feel like, like when people, you know, get tipsy or whatever, they say, you know, they start sweating and shit. It's like, ah, uh, it warms them up. But I think it actually does the opposite. It make it feels like it warms you up because it makes your, uh, makes your blood like hit the surface of your skin or something like that. Something or something like that, right? But what it actually does is it's actually making your body colder, but it feels like you're getting heated up. All right, Spark, what am I doing here? Six way globalization can help you find love. All you gotta do is make an account, don't fill out the bio, and just put in your Instagram, and then bam, boom, you'll find a match. No problem, it's not a scam. I promise you. All right, language, bridge, jabber, the cheap flights, all kinds of digital service can help you keep track of the best flights. Let the internet be your cupid, whether social platforms, blog, dating sites, or just fan groups, there are plenty of spaces to interact and make the hot connection. Hot, like Topeka. Damn, Emma, you got some very, very pearly whites. Blogger? Which one of these is new? How do I know which one is new? Oh, okay, these are sinking. This one's new. Okay, look at this. All right, I'm looking. Look at this crap. Yeah? This entire email is in the subject line, and it's all in caps. That's just rude. Like, internet rude. God, and my dumb colleague won't stop texting me. Well, would not. <laughs> oh, God. I cannot wait to leave there. And work with animals. Yeah, because animals don't treat me like garbage. Still I worked with animals before. Question, the problem's not the animals. The problem is the people who are in charge of the animals. <laughs> they don't care about the animals. I'll never forget when I went to go work in like a puppy store or whatever. And the guy's like, make sure to tell customers we don't fucking get our puppies from puppy mills. And then I looked at him. I said, but you do, right? <laughs> And he didn't answer me, and I was like, yeah, okay. Whatever, dickhead. <laughs> See, Just gonna half try? At least you're trying in the end. 
That's true. I mean, I'm not sure how college has changed over the years, right? I mean, and to be fair, I've never been to college, and I'm still thinking if I want to go or not, because, you know, I really don't care about that shit. But, um, it's like, you know, you know when you get into college and they go like, don't plagiarize, we'll find out, right? For the most part, every time I've heard that and seen someone done it, they're like, oh, they're just full of shit, man. All you gotta do is just change like a couple of words. Nobody really looks at that shit. You think the fucking professor cares <laughs> that much? He already got your money. Why would he care? Unless they're just an asshole. I know that's what I did towards the end of high school. I was like, I'm gonna start plagiarizing shit. I didn't even switch stuff up. I would literally just take fucking paragraphs off of Wikipedia and just throw it on there. <laughs> it's like, you can double check that shit. Nobody's doing all that work. You don't know, since finances and COVID during uh, my years have been so burnt out and lost a little hope. Jesus. Would you could be <laughs> try. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I maybe they might give you some leeway for that, right? They might give you a little leeway. They're like, you know what? COVID's been pretty hard on these guys. You know? <laughs> Sorry, broken phone. <laughs> oh, man. Nothing's worse than uh, a random broken phone. You know, a random broken moment on your phone where you're just enjoying your day, and then you drop it, and suddenly half your screen doesn't work, and you're like, fuck. Now I got to spend, like, a hundred something dollars and get this fixed i remember that happened to me and i was just mad as fuck i was like because for the most part i really don't drop my phone but the one time actually that was like the third time i dropped it but like the t first two times i ever dropped a phone like the screen just fucking shattered and i was like damn it <laughs> well it didn't shatter i'm exaggerating because some people got some really fucked up phones i just had like a long crack on it and i was like fuck and then the second time, it got, like, a little chipped on the side. And I was like, fuck. And then the third time, it just stopped working. I was like, damn it. Only half the screen works. I didn't want to spend any money on this shit. <laughs> but it's the, uh, it's the SS Max. I had that shit since it came out, so I wasn't that worried about it. I paid it off, like, a long time ago, so I was like, fuck it. Okay. Wish you can pause and take a breather to enjoy life. <laughs> But you got nowhere to go. Life-wise, except towards med school. I don't know. You can always, you know, it's like, I don't know. You can always have like a plan B. Me, I fucking had a rule of thumb where, uh, where I was like, all right, here's my life planned out. School, finish, done. I'm just going to live my life, get a job, not worry about it. And then when I get to a certain age, I'm going to have to start thinking about an actual career path and get started on that because you know what? I'm going to enjoy my fucking my twenties while I got it. Right. You know, but somewhere in your twenties, you got to start working on a career because by the time you hit 40, you got to have something right. That's supposed to be like the peak. Right. You know, so I'm still thinking on it. <laughs> I'm still thinking on it. I got plenty of time and I know school won't be that hard for me. Okay. Also, me drop phone shattered. <laughs> God. God damn it. Uh, fixed, but the guy bossed it up. So it's touch sensitive. Oh, damn. Touch sensitivity is garbage. Yeah, I remember while I was, um, while I was getting my fixed, I fucking, I asked the guy, I was like, hey, while you're doing that, I don't care how much it is, just replace the charger port for me. And then the guy's like, oh, man, you don't need to replace charge for it. You just gotta clean it out. And I wasn't going to sit there and just argue with the guy because, like, A, I've been to the place before. Dude's done good work on uh on some things that I've asked him to do before. And, you know, I wasn't going to sit there and be like, yeah, but uh replace it because I, I didn't even want to spend the money to begin with. So I was like, whatever, sure. And then, you know, he fixed it all up. Screen works. Everything is good. And he's like, see, it charges, right? And he puts the charger in and it charges. And I'm like, that's cool. But... I know that doesn't work like that because once you fucking, once you sit it down, it's not going to hold that charge. You got to put the fucking charger in 
in like a certain way, right? And at first I thought it was like my uh my charging cables and stuff like that, but I'm like, nope, it's it's every one every one that I got. <laughs> I'm like, damn. So like whenever I charge my phone, I gotta put it down del delicately. 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 That's a word that's annoying to say. I gotta put it down lightly and not touch it and then also come back and check on it to make sure that it didn't disconnect or some bullshit. It's so fucking annoying. I hate it. Alright. Did I get the backup? Yes. I got it. I've done everything you told me. Can I go now? Can I leave now? I trust you're gonna keep my chat with Anna a secret. Sorry, creep. You're fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will. She'll probably report you herself. Thank God. My penis is safe. I swear she won't hear from me again. Don't get caught next time. <laughs> Don't get caught next time. You fucking creep. Hey, cut that shit out. I'm being weird. Just keep me out of what you're doing. <laughs> it's just a compliment. I just said I wanted to sniff your hair. Greg. The fuck you want, Greg? Fuck. Shit. I think I'm in trouble. I went to Anna's workplace. Something bad happened. Like what? Yeah, man. You caused a scene. Banging on the door. Like Eric Andre. Just let me in. At the gates. Yeah, fucked. I slipped up. <laughs> I slipped. I fallen. I can't get up. Hey, oh, I'm tripping. I'm falling. I can't get up. <laughs> I got to get it up so I can tear shit up. That is a quote from DMX. You can also find such amazing quotes as in, I got blood on my hands because I have no remorse. I have blood on my dick because I fucked a corpse. That is a lyric that DMX has wrote. <laughs> And it's in one of his songs. Guess which? How the heck would I know someone else would be at her computer? Someone else would... Oh, you mean Marv? Let's see. Could have asked me first, dickhead. Why do I need permission from you to do anything? Because I got the phone, idiot. Too late for that now. This is real bad. The cops are involved now. You're on your own, bitch. They also know about your break-in. Marv made it real clear. Hmm. Well, I don't think they know it was him, but Marv made that real clear. You're fucked. That guy at Anna's desk? What the hell is his deal? Looks like he had something shoved up his ass. Do me a favor. Don't get the cops involved anymore. I cannot get another target on me. I will be arrested for sure. Maybe if you weren't such a dickhead mmm I don't want to extract I don't want to get in the way of the cops now I mean I'm already snooping through someone's whole life you know think about it I'll think about it if something happens to me I'm dragging you down as well I'm gonna keep looking for Anna alone alright no I'm handing your ass to the cops you just fucked up you just fucked that up yourself. Great. Busted. Oh, yo. I don't mean to rush, but it's been a while. Did the blackmailing work? Tyler, that's the other dude's name. He's a dickhead, too. Uh, yeah, somewhat. So did it work or didn't it? Have you read the past Spark messages? Just read all of them and, oh, damn it. They just remind me of those spark messages. The one dude that's like, you want to eat cookie dough? And then Anna's like, fuck no, weirdo. And it's like, what? My man just wants some cookie. Want to go for ice cream? I want cookie dough. Cookie dough's all right. Sometimes you just go to the store, get a pack of cookie dough, and when no one's looking, you just open it and start eating it like a fucking gremlin. Because no one's going to stop you. You're a goddamn adult. You do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> just read all of them and find out who'd Anna exactly meet with. I totally read that out of order, but you know, whatever. Make sure you make sure you get it all. I haven't read it yet. Get off my dick, Tyler. Isn't that what we came for? Stop fucking texting me. 
Make sure you check out all the past Spark messages, especially the other guys. Fucking creep. All right. Got two recovers. One from Ashley. All right. Okay. Uh, as you are, wait, what? As you are, you are. As hard as it for you to believe, I'm going to wait patiently. Liar. Lol, shut up. I will leave you be. Okay, what is, what is this for? Oh. Hold up. What is this? Oh my god, how long is this shit? What the f- Alright. Oh sh- Damn it! Hello? Hello, can you hear me? This is Detective Marillo from the police department, again. One of your colleagues reported that someone is attempting an unauthorized access to your work computer to retrieve some sensitive information. This is a case of corporate espionage, and we have reason to believe that a man named Greg Summers is behind it. I'm informing you that your personal data has been compromised, and that Greg is now wanted for questioning. If you have any information on his whereabouts, please contact me. Since when the fuck Thank does you. the police ask about... What? Bro, I wish when I got hacked, the fucking police called me and said, Yo, bro, I just saw that you got DDoS. This is a public case now. We're looking for the asshole that did this. The fuck? I wish, I wish that happened. What kind of crazy rig the police got in this world? They can tell that my phone got hacked. Jesus. He's been calling me for a few days. I have not been responding. Should I come over? I don't know. I keep going back and forth between being angry at him and feeling guilty about being so upset. Upset about what? Didn't he cheat on you? Didn't he cheat on her? Didn't he fuck one of his clients? What was her name? Fucking Yolanda or some shit? Uh, Toby is the only lover I need. Who the fuck is Toby? <laughs> First woman desperate enough to, to upright marry their cat. Oh, Toby's the fucking cat. I forgot. I got, I got so offended there. I was like, who the fuck? What? <laughs> Yelling at him for cheating. Who the fuck is Toby? Anyways, time to enter the fringes of society, Ashley. Time to be cat wife. Do you, Anna, take Tobias the cat as your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. Yes, I do. Shut the fuck up, Anna. What the fuck? Shut up. <laughs> you sound like an idiot. If anyone ever sent me a message like that, I just looked them. I'll be like, what the fuck? Stop. You could have just texted it to me, my guy. <laughs> yeah, I guess she was mad at Greg for cheating. And then she's like, I guess I only need my cat. Be a cat lady. Sounds terrible. Leave my shit jokes alone. Okay, so I'm going to call you later. Okay, yeah, okay hearts hey you feeling pr uh how you feeling pretty girl bag of rocks bag of those bricks made out of poop they dried out in developing uh in developing desert communities okay they use them to build amazing houses with decent insulation and stabilize a small rural economy and the nonprofit takes a gleaming pic a what the fuck a gleaming picture of whoever of whoever people and the ceo what the fuck? I feel like I had a stroke reading that. And you feel what? You feel weird. Because you're like, it's picture boasting about helping people. Or is it promoting the CEO? Okay, uh-huh. Rain Dawn returned to the farmer, but lesser poop. Alright, that was mad unnecessary. I don't know why she wrote all that shit. <laughs> that was so unnecessary. Like, hey man, I just asked if you're feeling alright. I didn't ask for your fucking, your fucking thesis statement. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> All right. Call me if you need anything. Okay. Even fucking Ashley's like, yeah, great. Cool. I've been reading a lot. Yeah, I bet you have. Speaking about reading a lot, I remember someone told me that, uh, that they had, they had like a friend or something that I guess they were like, they were mad at or something for some reason. And I was like, oh, what, what's the problem? What's going on or whatever? And they're like, ah, oh, so-and-so has been acting fake or whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, all this drama shit. 
and they're like, yeah, for some reason she keeps telling people that she's like reading more books so she can become a better person. I was like, what's she reading? And they looked at me, they said, she keeps saying that she's reading Harry Potter. And I went, what? <laughs> I said, wait, hold up. Someone told you they read in Harry Potter to be a better person. What the fuck? <laughs> how, how does that make sense? I'm going to better myself as a person. I'm going to read Harry Potter. Like what? Okay. All right. You text her like shower thoughts makes <laughs> makes it with the existential crisis exactly right hey there handsome who me how you doing about the same let's hang out tomorrow i don't know i'm pretty content in my angry lonesome hole got a good book rhythm going you know Bill uh, billiards is way ahead of its time wait what did i read that right oh B B i don't even fucking words who am i going to trust uh, now when I turn on TV, somebody's been playing a bunch of Metal Gear Solid. That's what I say. Why don't you hang out with me tomorrow? Hang out with me. I'm hotter than your cult than your culture commentary. Eh? Be my date. I'll be a good date. We'll get pretty and we'll go on town. Eh? Come on. Are you all right? What's gone into you? Hello. Hey. Um. God. I just read my text. I'm so, so sorry. Can you do me a favor and just ignore all of it? Can you do me a favor? <laughs> I had a wee bit too much to drink last night, and I have no idea what I was saying. I'll make it up to you, okay? I'm going back to sleep, so I'll catch you soon, all right? Listen, I don't want to... I don't want to put any titles on people, right? I'm a little confused because Ashley has like a picture of like an Asian girl and she sounds like Hispanic as fuck. <laughs> like for real. Sounds like some of the chicas that be walking around my fucking ghetto. All right. Like we talked about, just get on, just get on Spark. I don't know. Let's see. I will make your profile for you. On. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fun. I'll take care of everything, okay? I'm gonna make your profile so good that even you would date yourself. And I think it's time to unleash the hey, my eyes are up here dress. Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. <laughs> Basically, right? Alright, you're not gonna go back to grad, so what's the harm? Hmm. You can come over to my place tomorrow and we can swipe. I don't feel like going out. Hearts, hearts. I'm excited to see Toby. Oh, I'll text you later. Did you get Spark? No. I don't know if I really want to. I don't know if I really want to. You just said that. I know I could date, but it feels like those apps are just objectifying anyway. Dismissing people like an emperor at the Coliseum. Except, I guess they get no chance to fight because you're just looking at some stranger's selfies wondering if that's really their dog or if his ex took the photo. Excuse me, bitch? <laughs> what <laughs> what I feel like just dismissing people miss miss hey you want to eat some you want to eat some cookie dough what cookie dough <laughs> i'm like okay hey it's just supposed to be fun you're not looking for a husband just like visual stimulus eh, sorry blah larg extends into, wait what blurs extend tiny amount oh Okay, cool. Oh, baby. I should just focus on getting out of the dumb job. Maybe. Hi. See you, see you later today. Okay. Anna, answer me. Crap. Sorry, 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 sorry. Almost there. Okay, I was doing an errand and it turned into a longer thing than I thought. Just stay put at the door. I'll, I'll be there soon. That's what I say when someone knocks on my door and I'm touching myself. <laughs> That's a lie. Or is it? I don't know whether to get something like Tinder or not. I say anything besides Tinder. Actually, that's a lie. Um, Tinder has weird uses because most people that use Tinder now, like, are either just for hookups, you know, or they're just trying to advertise themselves on social media in any type of way possible. You know, the people that go like, follow me on Instagram to, to text me. I'm not on here that much. It's like, stop fucking lying. Right. Um, 
right? But also, if you're in a big city, Tinder could be helpful. But I mean, it's not not that good. Excuse me. I just ate. Um, let's see. There's a what is it? Plenty of fish in fucking Hinge or whatever. I've never tried Plenty of Fish. I tried Hinge for like like once or twice, and I'm be honest, Hinge is just filled with a bunch of fucking weirdos. Like, it's just like I don't like for some reason all the weird people go to Hinge, and I don't I don't mean weird as in like kinky. I mean weird as in like legit like like the booger kid from fucking Diary of a Wimpy Kid type weird, right? Um, for me, Bumble has been pretty good for me, right? And if you know if you're a female, uh, basically you have to message the guy first, right? So if you don't want to message the guy, you just don't, I guess. But at the same time, just if you don't want to talk to the guy, don't don't swipe on him, <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, so the guys can't message you first, and OK Cupid is. It's a mixture of okay and bad <laughs> because because for some reason it wants you to pay for every little type of small thing, right? And then and it, it it's honestly unnecessary as fuck. Like you swipe, get a match, or if you like someone, you can just send them a quick message or whatever without them having to like, you know, like you back, right? So they can just See, like, oh, did I get an intro today? Yeah, sure. Someone went like, hey, man, I swiped on your thing, blah, 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 right? So for me personally, I've used OkCupid and Bumble, right? I want to say the biggest problem with OkCupid is that you're going to see a lot of people that, like, well, for me anyways, like, just a lot of, a lot of women from different countries just going like, hey, I think you're cute. It's like, no, no, you're not. You're trying to get a green card. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get out of here with that shit. <laughs> right? But yeah, for me, Bumble's been good. Bumble's been pretty good for me. It's also nice because I don't have to fucking, you know, most of the time, I don't have to start up the conversation unless someone just sends the first message and it's just, and it fucking says hi. And then I'm like, I'm like, if someone does that to me, I just send a picture of their profile. I'm like, doesn't it say not to say hi? Why are you doing it? <laughs> the fuck out of here with that I'm not that desperate or you can just head to bars and shit but I mean it's whatever so how's boy hunting hmm oh you dog shut up shut up there's this guy okay I don't want to jinx it turn around and don't jinx it <laughs> um so what he's like I'll tell you next time okay I might meet him oh don't make this a big deal okay as you are okay so this is what i read yeah okay and then for some reason it loops i don't know why it loops hmm. i've met someone that seems like your type recently but the social chemistry is very low and, and i kind of want to keep communicating with them stay friendly and avoid making things awkward in case the feeling is different hmm Well, do you know if this person is single or not to begin with? Because if they're if they're if they're not single, you, I mean, you should find that out first. If they're not single, then I think I think you should like you know get that information first. And if they're not single, just just slow yourself down and be like, all right, hold up, let me not get these feelings right now. At least let me not do that. Let me wake up before it's too late. All right. Uh, let's see. Cover Greg shit. He was talking about like a pregnancy test or some bullshit. They hinted at being signal a couple of times. Okay. Hmm. I'm assuming it's. I'm assuming it would be a classmate, probably. So you probably only see them around class. Uh. I don't know. If you guys have like the same, same like uh. If you guys like have a break from school around the same time, probably invite them out to eat or whatever, stuff like that, you know, get friendly. Get friendly first. Basically, basically get them comfortable enough. I sound like I'm fucking manipulating people here. <laughs> basically get them comfortable enough to where like 
get to a point where it's like, hey, man, we should hang out when we're not at school or work or whatever the fuck. Right. So then so then, you know, once in a while you can text them and be like, oh, want to go out and do something. Right. And then, I don't know, get a feel for it. Feel it out. Right. Feel it out. Get them to open up more. I don't know, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of weird talking about it. I feel like I'm back in high school where everyone in the fucking school building would walk up to me and be like, yo, I'm trying to get with this person. Can you like help me out? It's like, everybody keeps going to you for shit. And I'm like, yeah, I know everybody keeps going to me for shit. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Makes, makes me feel weird. They're busy mostly, so it's kind of hard. But you do text at times and talk. Okay, so you already have their number busy at times hmm. I definitely have a lot of friendships where we're constantly busy and like probably like like a week or in advance or something or even spur of the moment sometimes one of us will talk to, text each other and just be like Yo, you want to like far watch a movie or some shit right want to head to the city or something that's usually what we do hmm I don't know, it's it's like a case by case basis, right? Where like uh you get to knowing someone to a point and then at some point you just gotta at some point when the moment's comfortable, right? It doesn't have to be the moment. But when it's comfortable enough, just be like like when you're done hanging out for a day, be like, Hey man, or hey girl, or hey dude, or hey guy, or what's up? Be like, listen, I really like hanging out with you or whatever, you know, da 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 that second and third. You know, open it up. Tell them, like, just tell them how it is, you know, when, when you get to that point and it feels comfortable. And then, uh, you know, I always, end, for me, I always ended off with, listen, you don't got to answer now, right? But you don't got to answer now, but the sooner the better, I guess. I'll catch you later, tee hee hee, and then I run away. <laughs> All right, so we got shit recovered from Greg, but what the fuck am I looking for here? I made a mistake, I can explain, please do, blah, 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 bullshit, Anna, do, I mean, we already checked all of this, this was recovered last time, I think, hmm, busted, jabber, all right, what the hell was recovered from jabber, what am I looking for here? Two hours ago. Today is going to be an interesting day. I can feel it. Oh, okay. Is there like a message or something? Statement the sexual assault allegations against tech director are unfounded due to lack of hard evidence. Yikes. Sounds like Blizzard to me. <laughs> hmm. What the hell? Okay, well, something was new on Jabber, but I didn't get it. What am I missing here? Stuff from her mom. Why does it say... What the fuck? What? It says there's two new things, right? And I think I did everything here. You're not allowed to fuck clients. I definitely remember that. See, maybe it's higher up. Hmm. Cat's birthday, blah, 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 no, yes, no. All right, well, they told me to check her Spark and her messages on Spark, so I'm going to do that. Mark, Dave. Fred. Fred Jones? How many lobsters dinner would it take to turn your bedroom into an acro... Okay. All right. All right. Hey, I'm talking to you here. I'm talking to you here. It's kind of my problem. I'm worried if you'll uh, be able to keep in touch with them after the semester ends. Don't know when you're going to... Uh, don't know where you're going to school, right? So life wise. Or somewhere else. Lost touch from many people before. Regret. Usually in high school, a lot of people lose touch, right? So that, like for me, I know, like, I know when I was in high school, as I was walking around, I was looking around, I was like, 
I'm not gonna talk to half you motherfuckers when I'm out of here, <laughs> right? After high school, you kind of leave out with like maybe four, five, six friends, right? You get to a point where like, yeah, we may not talk for months, but at any time I can fucking text you and you'll be like, yo, what's up? Right? How's it going? Rather around, but you don't need to answer. You just wanted to vent a little. Oh no, that's fine. It's definitely fine. I know the feeling. <laughs> James and Ty Oh, hold up. Tyler. Titanic. What? It's my icebreaker. <laughs> that's cute. People died though. <laughs> that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Titanic. People died though. Death is funny. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Where the fuck? <laughs> where the hell was I on that? That caught me off guard. This is college though. And now college is definitely a different thing because, uh, because unlike, you know, unlike high school where no one's really sure what the fuck they're doing and you're just kind of like living through it, trying to just survive it. Once you get out in the real world, you're more in tune with who you are as a person, I guess. So you know more about your own likes and shit instead of fucking worrying about what everyone else likes. Because you only have to worry about the people in your inner circle and maybe a little bit outside. At least that's how I saw it. Hmm. Yeah, I need to work on that. So, animal person, huh? Dog. Cat. Only one, I hope. One is a handful already. I'm not crazy cat lady age yet. So your profile says you, what, you serenade upon request. Yep, you sing occasionally. Prove it. All right, before I click this fucking video or whatever, you want to you wanna hear a cringy fucking story about someone who professed their love to somebody? All right, so this group of people, right? I don't hang out with them no more, but... You know, there's a group of people I know. Fucking, uh, <laughs> there's this one dude in that group, right? Let's call him, let's call him Jim Jones, right? So Jim Jones started hanging out with this girl, started talking to her over text or whatever, right? For like a couple of weeks or something or like that. And then, <laughs> and then at some point, uh, I, I guess it was just like platonic from her point of view, but he was like really crushing on this girl. So at some point, Instead of, like, easing into it or even, like, inviting her out or something like that, dude sends, like, a paragraph of, like, a fuck, like, I wish I had the fucking, oh, I wish I had the goddamn photo of that shit. I used to. I got rid of it. But he sends, like, this whole paragraph, like, professing his love for her and shit, right? Bro, the funniest shit ever. <laughs> and then after all that work, she fucking replies with, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but that's not even the end of it because after that it's kind of fucked up but it's also really funny because here's the funny part after that i guess like a day or two passed or something and she, and i guess he was just waiting for like another text or something so out of nowhere the dude decides like he doesn't send it to her but he puts it on his like profile whatever i think like snap or instagram or some bullshit because because they're friends on it or whatever. And I guess to be like, to not out loud say who he was talking to, but like, uh, you know, to, to make the voice heard, I guess, out there in the ether. And then he just uploads a video of him with the camera like mad close to his face, right? Homeboy looked like he didn't take a shower in like two days. Fucking wearing a tank top. <laughs> wearing a tank top with his fucking nipples poking through it. And... <laughs> And the dude just sitting there and he just starts singing and he's just sitting there. He's like, I better find your loving. I better find your heart. <laughs> I better find your loving. I better find your heart. <laughs> like he just does it like that. And his voice cracks and everything. And he uploads that shit. Bro, that man was getting clowned on for fucking years after that shit. That was hilarious. And I don't think the girl ever talked to him again. After that, I think K was the last response he ever got from her. But it's like, bro, you're really fucking cringy. <laughs> Why would you do that? On top of that, I mean, dude, you're like, he was like, what? 
26 at the time or something like that and it's like my god you're 26 with no job no car and you out here trying to get girls by fucking serenading to them on on fucking it's just stop it <laughs> stop it was just it just wasn't good it was like what it was like why did you think this would work if anything you look fucking weird <laughs> didn't even dress up for the video just like in a tank top looking mad on camped it was like, oh my god, why would you do that? But another funny one is someone else within the same group, a uh, completely different thing. He, uh, I guess he had a crush on a girl he was working with, or like, oh wait, no, no, he didn't have a crush on a girl. It was some girl he saw. <laughs> some girl he saw. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna call this one. We're gonna call this guy Timmy Tam. So Timmy Tam here, fucking. He saw some random girl, right? And he's like, oh, I want to talk to her, right? You know, but it's like how you approach someone you don't know and just be like, hey, I know, uh, hey, listen, blah, 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 I like you or whatever. I think you're cool. <laughs> that was a high school story? Oh, bro, that wasn't. They were not in high school at the time where this shit happened. Every fucking adult. But, um, motherfuckers are out of high school. But the dude, uh,. <laughs> His introduction to walking up to this girl he randomly sees, right, to tell her that, like, she's pretty or whatever, is that he kind of waits for a bit, and then he, like, kind of peeks at her phone, right, when she's not looking, and he sees that her background is, like, the New York Giants. So, with no explanation, when the time is right, he walks up to her and he goes, so you like the Giants? <laughs> Oh, that shit was mad creepy. <laughs> I was like, how? I was like, bro, you can't just, that's some stalker type shit. Like, it's not even like, like, there's nothing on her person besides the background on her phone that gives her away that she like, that she's a fan of the Giants or whatever, if she even is a fan of the Giants. And it's like, bro. Bro, it's not that hard to walk up to some random person that you don't know and say something to them because guess what? You don't know them. You can invent yourself right there if you want. Like I do that for practice, uh, you know, whenever I um go shopping, like for food and shit. Like I'll just walk around the store and I'll be like, you know, I'm just gonna compliment some random people I see today. So I'll pull people aside, both men and women, I'll be like, Yo, listen, I like I like what you're wearing today. That looks really nice. You know, I get thank yous and stuff like that, right? You know fucking but you know that's something that you can visually see on their person this dude literally walked up to her like like walked up to her <laughs> without saying hi or anything and just went so you like the giants <laughs> so you uh like the giants like what the fuck how do you know that <laughs> it's so weird uh can invent to himself as a mind reader yeah you know, actually, real shit, he could have done that, right? He could have walked up to her and be like, be like, listen, I'm trying out this trick, right? Do you mind if I try it out with you? And she says yes or no, or whatever, right? But, I mean, it's a trick. Who's going to say no to a fucking trick? Especially if you walk up and you have a presence about you that you're not threatening about it, right? And you go, all right. I was, I was like, all right. You can just be like, all right. So, let I'm going to pick a hobby, something that you might like, right? She's like, okay, you go sports. She might say yes, she might say no. She says no, then you got to be like, damn it, I fucked up and just kind of play into it. But um, she says sports. She's like, yeah, okay, I like sports. I'm going to be like, you seem like a football person. You watch football? Yeah, okay. You like the Giants? <laughs> but you can work into that, right? You know, but just being like, just walking up to somebody, being, so, uh, you like the Giants. Oh, <laughs> uh, man, these people were getting fucking clowned on for years, bro. Whenever we would start roasting each other, I'd be like, yo, shut up with your Giants like an ass. Don't talk to me. But anyways, back to Tyler. What kind of bullshit he's about to do? I got my eyes on you. You're everything that I see. I want your heart, love, and emotion. Endlessly, I can't get over you. 
You left your mark on me. I want your high love and emotion endlessly. Fucking ill, bro. <laughs> My man hopped into a shower, jumped out of it, <laughs> started moving his eyebrows. Oh my god! I, mm, I did not expect that. You know what? Uh, that really felt like it. That really felt like it. it really felt like the exact same dude. Oh my god! I wish I fucking had that video so much. Hold up, maybe I can wait, wait a minute. I don't talk to these people no more, but I know I'm still part of that fucking IG chat. And they constantly talk shit to each other all the time. <laughs> maybe I can fucking just find it. Oh uh, if I can. God please. God please. Oh man. Let's see. Uh <laughs> Come on, where is it? Where is it, damn it? Oh, man. Oh, that's going to take too long to look for it. Wait, maybe I do have it saved on my phone still. No, I don't got it saved on my phone. <laughs> I wish I did. I really wish I did. But I do have a... <laughs> I do have a video on my phone of like uh you know me walking around my neighborhood ghetto and then there's just this one dude this one dude on like a bike with like these big ass handlebars and a basket in the back of it and it has a giant ass speaker and it's just blasting some reggae music and i'm just like bro come on you can't be doing that <laughs> you can't be do you can't be riding around the block with that shit what the hell Oh man, high school and your friends made a shrine of a girl. Oh no, really? Shrine of shrine of, <laughs> of their girlfriend and put it on his desk in class. Oh my god, what? Made a shrine of oh shit. Okay, wait. Made a shrine of a girl that your other friend liked. Put it on his desk. Oh shit! Did they at least get it off before she saw it? I don't think that helped. That's fucked up. I definitely remember one time in like middle school or whatever. I was rambunctious, right? And um, you know, I had this group of friends that I hung out with, and and we didn't tell each other everything, but you know, we were close enough to where we can kind of infer. I'll be like. And I would kind of play around and be like, you know, one of these days, I'm going to tell these girls that you out here having a crush on them. He's like, stop it. You did. I'm going to tell this girl. And I was like, no, you won't. And then the bell rung and dude started fucking booking it towards her class to like tell her. And I went, what the fuck? And I started chasing him and I tackled this ass. <laughs> I tackled that. I was like, you're not going to do that shit. What are you doing? <laughs> He's like, come on, man, let me go. She needs to know. I'm like, no, she doesn't. <laughs> fucking we didn't get in trouble for it either because none of the teachers saw because we fucking we like fully booked it <laughs> like i chased that motherfucker like halfway around the school but i got him though my secret was safe but then like fucking that year i moved out i moved out and then i came back to the same school district later and then i was i was like getting in touch with a bunch of people I was like, yo, whatever happened to so-and-so? And they're like, oh, you mean her? Yeah, she changed her name. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, she, she what? I'm like, what? You're in high school out here changing your name? Okay. For some reason. <laughs> Reinvent yourself. Wow, that's not bad. So it's true that the shower gives better octaves. It does. Yes, but I have a, I have a store. <laughs> I have to store the soaps and shampoo if I sing. What? Yes, but I have to store the subs and shampoo. Oh, you mean like get rid of them? Okay, cool. Interesting. Why is that? Otherwise, it'll be a soap opera. <laughs> okay, you got me on that one. You didn't get me, Tyler. You're kind of lame. <laughs> You're kind of lame. Do I get something in return? Your number, maybe? I'll think about it. But the man asking for fucking... man saying, yo, you want to eat some cookie dough? is like, okay, whatever. 
All right. Oh, what the fucking what? All right. Hold up, James. Prepare for trouble and make that shit double double. Oh my god, there's a lot. Holy shit, there's a lot. Holy fuck. Oh my god. What the fuck? What am I looking at? Why does it keep going? Why won't it stop? Okay, I feel like it repeated itself. Let me guess, cat person. Mm-hmm, too easy. Bet you get that wrong half the time. Got it right every time so far. How many times is that? Once, another spark newbie, lol. Good thing you showed up, it was starting to get dull. What, can't find any matches? For real? It's your first chat on Spark? I have some. By that I mean one. That can't be true. It is. Cross my heart. What's wrong with her? I'd rather talk to you. Haha, <laughs> sorry. Just new to this. You know, damn well if any girl got any messages like this, they'd be like, Oh, you talking to another bitch? That's not me. <laughs> but anyways. That can't be true. Uh, yeah, cross my heart. Okay. Okay, got some really, really strange matches. This one guy asked me if I want to eat cookie dough. That guy's a loser. Oh dear. Am I doing alright? Am I doing alright so far? I'll take normal over anything at this point. Uh, okay. Good morning. What are you uh what are you doing up so early? I actually the same thing. Work starts at seven for me. Yikes. Yep. Oh, uh, what do you do? You'll never guess. What? Surveillance tech. Funny. You don't seem like the techie. I'm not. How about you? Alright. I... Uh... Am... Making... A... What the fucking... What am I looking at? <laughs> Let's see. I am better... Copyright... Wait, what? I am a copywriter. Okay, hold up, yeah. I am a copywriter. Uh, sounds crappy. Wait, what? Making... Making stuff... Better... Wait, what? I'm... Wow. My fucking brain is, like, ruined right now for some reason. Alright, I am a copywriter. Okay. It sounds sounds better than it looks. But you got to use all of it. Hmm. I am I am a crappy copywriter. Making stuff sounds better than it looks. No. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Duh. <laughs> Stupid me. I am a copywriter. Making crappy stuff sound better than it looks. Alright. You must be a smooth texture then. Only when it comes to scheduling corporate clients. Lol. You still with them? It didn't work out, so if you ever thought of putting on power suits and writing for a brand... My... what the fuck? Fresh? Okay. Fresh. Hmm. Okay. Fresh is open. Hmm, no. It has to start with my because that's capitalized. My ideas is open. Wait, what? My my position is open. What the fuck? 
Let's see, so if you ever thought of putting on power suits and riding for big brands, my position at Fresh is still. Oh shit. Still open. Damn it. My ideas, my position ideas at. Oh, is Fresh Ideas the name of the fucking brand? Okay, hold on, let me try that. Okay, yeah, okay. That's Fresh Ideas. Okay. Still open. Yeah, your problems are solutions, web design. Okay, branding, app development, join us. Fill out your details below. I, I don't even remember her fucking last name. Okay, that's a lot. Back to Spark. Who the fuck was I talking to? James. Okay. Uh, where, where, where was I? Oh my god, please don't tell me I gotta go all the way up. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh no. See, I thought it was just repeating or something, but they, they really had a long ass conversation like this. Okay. Okay, here it is. I think I'll pass. Why stick around? Where? Your job. You hate it, right? Oh yeah. How'd you know? Just making a guess. Bullshit making a guess. Okay, you got me. You think I should just quit? Totes. So just walk up to my boss and say, hey, I don't want money. Okay, thanks. Bye. I'm not kidding, Anna. If it's if it's not right for you, just walk away. <laughs> you fucking became real occultish right there. I'm not kidding, Anna. If it's not right for you, just walk away. Like you did with your previous guy. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> like, just completely got taken over. Oh my God, how did you know? Spark is Rebound City for most people anyways. I just took a guess. You stalking me? Let's see. You? Uh... What the fuck? You have an unnatural talent. Wait. Oh, you have a natural... T oh, fuck. You have an... A natural talent of guessing my backstory. The deed is done. <laughs> now drink this Kool-Aid. Didn't have to, Anna. You're an open book and so easy to read. I just connected the dots. Okay, smart guy. What else can you read? Any fucking girl that got a message from a dating app like this shit would just be like, all right, loser, bye. I think you should just take a break from everything, from your job you hate, from your previous guy, whatever happened. Take a vacay and start new, and then slit your own throat. <laughs> That's so what I need right now. Oh my god, is this a cult? Sign me up. For a guy I barely met, how come you know so much about me? Sounds like, sounds like, sounds like everyone that follows, uh, Logan and Jake Paul, huh? <laughs> For someone I barely know, you're so like me. <laughs> Call it intuition. So how much of an ass is he? Who, lol? The guy you dumped. You really want to know? Let's trade. Tell me about the first spark girl. You really want to know? I fucking slit her throat and drunk all her blood. You started it. Fair enough. When I first started out, I, I match with at Keep It Cassie, uh, wait. I match with Keep It Cassie, known this, wait, known girl this also has also known as this girl named Cassie. Oh wait, hold up, no. That's fucked up. Let me try that again. <clears throat> I matched. 
I match with this girl. Girl. Named. Also known as Cassie. Okay. Also known as... Hmm. Let me try it again. I matched with Keeping It Cassie, also known as this girl named Cassie. All right. Hmm. Huh. Maybe at keeping it, Cassie is is the last. No, I would assume saying her real name is the last thing you would say, right? I match with. I keep also known as this girl named Cassie. Yeah. Let me just try switching it up. Oh, hold up, wait. I'm stupid. I match with, with this girl, Cassie. Also, oh, damn it, I fucked up again. <laughs> I matched with this girl named Cassie. Also known as there we go mm. she's cool but it's like some big social media person or something i'm not a fan of her attention so <clears throat> that reminds me that on one of my profiles one of my dating profiles you know way back when the only reason i still kind of keep it is because i paid for a lifetime premium account for it which was only like a hundred something bucks, which that was like years ago, but I still get a lot of matches from it. So I get to see who swipes on me so I don't have to go around swiping on other people. And fucking, I'm just looking at it. And I see this one girl, I'm like, oh, she seems interesting. She's well read, blah, blah, blah. Her bio's filled out or whatever and stuff like that, right? You know, she reads philosophy and stuff like that. And she's like, oh, I also stream, whatever, blah, 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 right? And I look at the stream, you know, because I was like, you know what? I guess I'll check it out, right? So I checked the stream out, right? And then I'm like, does it say anything else about, like, or about me or whatever? Click on the about me. And then I go down. It's like, hey, it's my website. And I was like, okay. All right. You know, because at this point, I'm going down the rabbit hole. Might as well. Right, because her profile, besides saying her Twitch thing, it didn't really say like follow me on Instagram or anything like that. It didn't seem like she was promoting herself. Like it was fully filled out to the brim. Right. And I was like, okay, yeah. You know? And like none of her pictures was her of like in her Twitch stream or anything like that or anything like crazy dolled up. It was just like very normal pictures of like out and about town, like not really posed up or nothing like that. Right? So then it's like head to my head to my website or whatever, and I was like Okay, well, I got here on my own volition, right? I'll check it out. Went to the website. I'm reading it. And then, you know, it's her, it, the website's talking about, like, fucking, you know, uh, you know, more information about her and stuff like that. And, like, uh, and, like, um, how she reads psychology and all this other bullshit and sociology and all this other crap, right? And I'm looking down at it. And then it, it gets to a section where it's like, where it's like, oh, and I, where it starts talking about, um, psychology and sexuality and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, okay. So I start reading it. And then at some point it goes, well, I don't see myself as a sex worker. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, wait, hold up. Wait, what? And like, I'm reading it. And then at the bottom of it, 
it's like, here's a link to my OnlyFans. And I'm just like, did I? Did, hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna close that, double check the profile that liked me. And I'm like, I'm like, all right, let me see. Is this some bullshit, right? You know? And it's like, Nope, all the information matches up. It's not, and it's not like any copy and paste type thing or nothing like that. And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, and I'm like, all right, hold up. How old is this person? <laughs> right? Because it might just be someone in their 20s trying to, you know, uh, get themselves, uh, you know, getting themselves some clout or something like that. And then I'm just looking at it. I'm like, no, no, because I have no problem with dating older women. Right? And it's like, no, she's in her 30s, right? You know, and I'm reading it. And like, and it's like, <laughs> like all this very, all this very like high educational talk and then, you know, talk about herself and her own personal stuff like that, right? And like, none of it at any point is like, oh, by the way, come and follow me on my thing like that. It was just like, it was like, oh, if interested, here's some links or whatever. So I'm just sitting there and now I'm like, okay, wait, hold up, wait person seems really fucking cool actually but am i willing to go on a date with someone who has a fucking only fans i'm not sure how i feel about that <laughs> i'm not disgusted by it or anything but i'm just like you know right and no at no point am i sitting there going like i'm gonna maybe i should get a sub to the only fans like no i'm just sitting there i'm like yeah no i'm not doing that i'm not going that far <laughs> i'm not going that far right but it's like Am I going to feel comfortable knowing that other people might look at my potential match and be like, yeah, man, I pay to see that. Like, ooh. <laughs> Think someone made an OnlyFans account when it was just, <laughs> just actual fans yet? Oh, no. No, they had, they had, uh, they had both fans on their, on their, uh, Twitch or whatever, right? You know? And I'm assuming they probably had a good amount of people on their, uh, <laughs> on their OnlyFans because it's fucking OnlyFans. But I'm just sitting there, I'm like, man, uh, let's see, I think someone made an OnlyFans account when it was just actual fans yet. Like just HUDs, uh, handheld or rotating fans. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Right? Like, I don't want to, I don't, like, after reading her bio and stuff, you know, I don't want to go too deep into it because they're like in her dating profile, there were, I don't want to say red flags, but they were like personal things that were kept out. And then when you go to her website and you read that stuff and even like her Twitch bio, there were some more personal things that were there. Right. And I don't want to say too much about it because I don't want to give away who it was, but you know, and it wasn't like no one crazy famous, at least I don't think so. Right? Crazy internet famous. But fucking... Like, just reading it all, and I'm like, oh, this doesn't seem like a, a manipulative person at all. This seems like someone who's just truly, like, this is what they think. Right? And I'm just sitting there, I was like, they seem pretty fucking cool, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to go that route. That's a path I can follow, though. All right, let's see. <laughs> Where the fuck was I at? She's cool. Not a fan of the attention. No way. So you passed the Jabber celeb? Are you even real? Told you too much attention. You're weird. Good weird? Good weird. So, boy problems. I'll give you a guess of what he did. He cheated on you. Yep, typical. I know, right? Where, uh, were there any signs? That's the thing. None. Zero. Were there any signs? Maybe he, maybe you got, maybe your sex life fucking died down or something. I guess sometimes you can never tell. Or is it just me? Am I blind? Hey, don't say that. Maybe he was good to you. But you saw the good parts of him. That motherfucker, Greg, good. Yo, okay. <laughs> or anybody. And that makes you good. Wow, did you just make that up? Is it working? <laughs> is it working? Do you want to join my cult yet? Here's something else, James. See, I told you, James out here talking about prepare for trouble. Make that shit double-double. I'll take that as a compliment. Keep that up and you'll see the good parts of me. Woo! Okay. 
Hello, you did not. Okay. If we keep talking, I'm going to miss work. Speak soon. You should totally record yourself quitting your job. You don't sleep. Oh, she recorded herself quitting her job. You don't sleep, do you? Chatting with you is more fun. I'm afraid I can't sleep. I cannot do that, Laura. Recording myself quitting isn't, uh, isn't though. You'll inspire the generation. <laughs> just like this one dude I knew who quit his job by fucking just knocking everything off the shelf. He said, I'm fucking done. Boom. Like, oh, oh God. <laughs> You'll inspire the generation, Anna. I'm not inspiring anybody. I want to go back to school for his college. Cool egg. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Never mind. I'm too tired. Oh, quitting on the uh, <laughs> quitting on the report. <laughs> Wait a minute. You said that shit was due in two hours. Hmm. You gotta like hand it in digitally. God, I hope not. <laughs> Just be like, the virus got it. It all deleted. The, the little, the Mr. Crocker bots came and ate up my fucking homework. Okay. College? Oh, uh, which kind? Vet. Now that sounds more like you. It does. Lol, totally. Which one are you going to? Applied for UC, but I got rejected. Bastards. Tell you what. I'll teach you how to reply for college like a pro. Isn't it just filling out some forms? Hey, I will write you a kick-ass application. How? Yeah, you already submitted it. Damn. How much of your grade does it count? Is it like, oh, well, I'm assuming it's probably, yeah. It's like the end of the school year, right? So it's probably a lot. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, meet me. And I'll... Oh, fuck. Meet me this weekend and... I'll show ya. Worth 50 points. Fucking Christ. See, shit like that, that's why, that's why I didn't do any of my homework in fucking high school. <laughs> He's doing great in class and his projects are great. He's just not doing his fucking homework. So like 25% of your grade. I'm like, passing, still passing. Like half of the times I'm sitting in the class correcting the goddamn teacher. Meet me this week and I'll show you smooth. Fine, but you better be actually useful. I can think of a few things we can use. <laughs> like what? Depends on my mood. Fine, I'll find out myself. Saturday night, 7 p.m. uptown. You're lucky that's good timing for me. Yeah, it is great timing for her, I bet. You out here fucking absorbing your mind juice. See ya. See you soon. Be there in an hour. Wait, what? Okay, that was, that was weird. Be there in an hour. I'm here. Where are you? I see you. Oh. And then she went She went missing. Can't help it. Every time you have to do homework on weekends, something in your personal life comes up and eats up your time and energy. <clears throat> yeah. For me, the reason I didn't do my homework, because boredom ate up my time and energy. <laughs> you know, but I, I definitely see it. That's one. Of the, that's also one of the reasons why I didn't automatically straight, like, automatically head straight to college, because people are like, "Oh, you can, uh, you can work and go to school. You don't have to pay rent or whatever." And blah 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 blah. And I'm just sitting there. I'm like, "No, nah, there's no way I'm working and fucking going to school and coming home and getting fucking annoyed on a daily occurrence. I'm gonna blow my goddamn brains out if I do that. So, how about I just, you know." Get some money in my damn pocket, pay bills, and live my life outside of work and have a fun time. And then if I want to go to college, I'll do that later. Because guess what? Everyone goes to college now. At this point, unless you're going to be like a doctor or some shit where you need a degree, right? At some, like at this point, any other type of field, they just only care about experience. Right? That's all it is. You can get a you can get a really good job without going to college if you just show that you're experienced. All right. Hmm. 
Only now did my parents realize you need alone time for work. Get berated for saying you're busy. Makes you feel useless and less motivated. Let's catch up on the notes. Oh yeah, no fucking. I definitely, for me, I definitely took Stan. I went, I went, yeah, fuck that. Uh, I'm not cleaning up after you guys and your boyfriends and shit. I'm going to do me. I'll clean up my space and after me and stuff like that. And I'll do like a chore around the house or whatever. Right? On top of that, I'm the only one paying bills in these fucking house. So half you motherfuckers ain't even got a job. <laughs> I quickly made that shit noted. I was like, oh man, sucks that the youngest person in the family is the one with the one paying most of the bills. Ain't that right, guys? Ain't that right? It's almost like if you actually just get a job and live life, it's pretty easy. It's been better recently, but damage has been done on damage control now for finals week. That's good. <coughs> I wouldn't say, I mean, as long as you pass, that's when it comes to college, I think it like, and like, again, unless you're trying to like, I don't know, become a professor at Harvard or some shit, right? All you need to worry about is passing, right? Once you get into once you get into the field that you need to get into, everyone starts at the same point. It's like, did you pass school? Yes, I passed school. All right. Time for you to still learn more shit because they didn't teach you all you needed to know. Which is why I don't fucking I don't get why. I don't get why why college systems do that. Whereas like here's a bunch of fucking classes you don't need. Studying for med school, so yeah, yeah, definitely. Right? Like, my sister went and got her master's or whatever. And, like, you know, she ain't even fucking 30 yet. And she's got her own office and shit like that. Because she just did what the hell she had to do. But she wasn't, like... She wasn't, like, fucking trying to get become, like, Val Victoria or anything like that. She was still living her life. She was still like, ah, fuck it, I'm not doing this. <laughs> But she finished school, so that's the thing that mattered. Unless she wanted to be, like, the headmaster of Hogwarts or some shit. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Tyler, what the hell? Anna met with James! James, huh? Sounds... Pretty normal, actually. Would imagine the culprit to have a scarier name. What else you got? He's unnaturally good at guessing Anna's past. He meant at keep it Cassidy. Keep keeping it real. No way. What a player. She's like a jabber celeb. Oh my god. We can somehow talk to her. Maybe she can share what she knows about him. Try to value mental health and... <clears throat> Sorry, I have to like clear my throat. What the hell? Try to value mental health and care because of stress. But kind of sacrifice at the same time. Only two weeks left till summer. Yeah. It's definitely, yeah, definitely one of the reasons why I didn't start college. I was like, yeah, no, this is going to be too stressful for me. It wasn't even like, like not to get too much into it, but it was just like being surrounded by a bunch of fucking incompetent people. Always get on my nerves, and then fucking, like, on top of that, dealing with fucking just, just morons making stupid life decisions, and I gotta deal with the fucking, the, uh, fallback on that, whether I want to or not. With that said, uh, hey, people, don't, don't, you know, don't open your legs until you're ready to have a child. <laughs> dealing with that bullshit it's not mine right someone else's <laughs> he's unnaturally good at guessing Anna's past he works as a design call fresh ideas sounds like stalker material to me I wonder if there's any way to confirm this pretty cheesy name even for my taste Maybe someone there can tell us what's up with them. Looks like we got enough to start with the James fellow. Close. I can feel it. Yeah, me too. 
Yeah, Taylor, we're buddies now. That's what I like to hear. You got the most resource to figure out who this James person is. I think you need to crack this, uh, track this Casey person down and call his work ways. Dig a little more about him. I guess I'll track Casey first. As long as you do both, I'll leave it up to you. In the meantime, I will give Spark a call. Yeah, bullshit. He's like, I'm gonna check her Spark profile and just jack off all over the place because I'm a fucking weirdo. Stop looking at me like that. Stop looking at me, Anna. I'm not your fucking friend. <laughs> You're ruining my life. Madison Mike, something to think about. Who the f- wait, what? What the hell was that? Was that my email? What the hell? Oh. Let's see. <clears throat> I fear the day. Oh, damn it. I fear the day that technology will surpass our human inter uh, interaction. The world will have generation of idiots. Oh, Einstein just gave it a hundred years or so. And, yeah, you know. <laughs> The world's kind of like that already. All right, let's see. Let's check these replies. Can I not check the replies on that? Can I? Why is it already like? Did I like it? Says the guy who posted this on Jabber. Lester, apply cold water to burn area. Anna, where the heck are you? Wait. What the fuck? This was just posted. Oh no. Stop staring at me, Anna. Why you why you lying? And why does this keep saying there's fucking two messages left? Is this game might be glitched. Alright. <clears throat> Let's track down this Casey person. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Is that it? That's all I got here. Casey, let's see if we can find you. Here we go. So, did I not enter it? Yeah, I totally entered. Oh wait, no, L two is the sin. <laughs> so, talk to me. Oh, this was three months ago. <laughs> Posted that shit three months ago. Is that her last, like, update or some shit? Can I... Can I not go, like, directly to her, uh, profile? Hmm. Maybe if I keep doing this, she'll be like, who the fuck keeps liking and unliking my shit? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, how the fuck? Why does this keep saying it's... What am I missing here? Logger. These are still syncing up. How have things been lately with me? With me? <clears throat> They've been pretty fun. <laughs> They've been pretty fine. Uh, I have this one friend that's kind of like... You know... He has a friend, right? It's one dude. It's kind of annoying me a little bit, though. Because he's, like, the type of guy who's all, like, who's, like, man, I want to move here and then go here and do all this, right? And he keeps texting me this shit. And I'm just, like, dude, dude, real talk. First of all, you're telling me you want to buy a house here, then you want to move, like, to Texas or some shit. Then you want to get your green card to head to Canada in like two years or some shit. And now you're telling me you got a job offer in Florida? Fucking stop telling me this shit. Sit your ass down and fucking come up with a plan. <laughs> like, right? I was sitting there. I'm like, dude, come on, man. What are you doing? Stop it. See? How the hell am I supposed to... Maybe I can hold up. Oops, looks like you ran out of matches. 
Can I not start swiping? Hmm. Why can't I go down the Ashley stuff? Maybe this will get your attention. James. <laughs> You know that guy? Just say the name. Just be like, how the fuck you know that? What the hell am I supposed to... I would assume I would like... You know, try and get her... Trying to get like a good connection to her. How the fuck? All right. Okay. Oh, why is her number fucked up? What happened? Detective Marlowe. You all right, Greg? You alive, dude? What the... Okay. Where's Tyler? Do I have his number? I assume I would have his number, yeah. Okay. Well, our other thing we can do is uh, head to Fresh Ideas and try and see Email position. Copywriter. His name is James. And what the fuck is his? What is his at? Let's see, James. It's just James. It doesn't it doesn't not say anything else. <clears throat> Come on. How do I how do I like get up there fast? There we go. All right. James Ulner at Fresh Ideas. Metrosexual. Looks like a good dude, though. James Ulner. Can you do me a favor and fucking type this in the chat for me <laughs> so I can remember this shit? All right. He's a copywriter, and I guess I can head on Jabber and try and see if I can find him. On like one of her posts or something. Yeah, the name. That and whenever I fucking see his goddamn at. Because I would assume his at would be on one of her. One of her, uh. Ask me anything. Why the fuck can I see the replies? Hmm. I can see the replies for other shit, but I can't see... That's the last one. Ronnie. Maybe I can see like a reply on on one of my fucking things.
because we're trying to get his email. Hmm. Come on, load up. Name, email, position. Where the fuck would I get this guy's email from? Logger spark on chats. Again, this shit says two, but I don't. I don't know why I keep saying, saying that. Hmm. Failed. New messages from Greg, Memo, Greg and Anna has some relationship problems, Memo, Memo, Memo. Yeah, a bunch of completes here. I wish the game had like at least some sort of background music instead of just fucking being quiet the whole entire time. That would kind of help me out a little bit. Greg is, I don't know, Elizabeth at HR. Did Ashley ever text me anything new? He's offline. Hmm. Yolanda. I talked to her. Guest code. Mother. Like, we recovered stuff for Greg, but I don't, I don't see anything, like, crazy new here. And then recovered from Ashley. We talked to her for, like, a bit. Well, we didn't talk to her. What am I saying? We fucking looked at this shit. But, like, nothing came of it. I don't think Marv has anything crazy for us either. Huh. Guess I can just keep checking fucking... Check Jabber. <laughs> I remember that. I think I'm the one that wrote that. <laughs> Bitch. Alright, King. Uh... Security. Isn't Tyler supposed to be fucking helping us? What the hell he said he was gonna do? He said he was gonna do something. Tyler from Springwood. We found out that he was arrested for some bullshit. I'm gonna check his. I'm gonna check Spark again, cause fucking James like drop his at at any point. I don't think he did, cause I can't get in touch with fucking what's her face. I don't think I can at least. My position, fresh ideas is still open. Uh, copywriter. I might just look this shit up, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Cause I'm kinda stuck here. Wait a minute. Did I get like an email? Spark. Whose letter and uh Did it connect interests? Okay. Did I ever get anything from Fresh Ideas? 
Okay, hold up. Hold up. I'm, I'm having an idea here. Head back to fresh ideas. Is there something else I can click on that's like an article or some shit that says that would have like, oh, edited by so-and-so. This is where we got in touch with Yolanda, I think. Oh, wait, yeah, that's what I just looked at. Hmm. There's nothing in the message app with two notifications. Yeah, I just checked the whole entire thing. I don't... I don't see, I didn't see anything here. Writer. Writers where we found. Yeah, I mean, I, I went here and I tried to like look for something, right? There's like a shit ton to like go through. What's this? Look what I found. Yeah, no, this is when he was going ape shit about Tyler being like a sex offender. Right? And usually when there's something new, there's like a uh, like a symbol on it or something. Mom didn't have anything, right? What's this? Sorry, I'm at work. I just want to drown everything out for a bit. It's just every possible shitty thing that could happen happened at the same time, and it sucks. I know you're worried, but I'm okay. I'll call you soon, I promise. Love you. I'll call you soon, mommy. I love you. Alright. And like with Greg's thing, it's like, it's like there's two, right? But none of it was like an update or anything. It all, it all looks the same. Because I remember all this, like who the hell is Yolanda? And then we talked to Yolanda. Stuff like that. And then I was like, maybe, maybe something higher up here that got recovered that we didn't see before. Right? But it's nothing there. And then again, we did everything with, um, what's her face? With her friend Ashley. This was all to help, uh, Greg get inside where the hell he needs to get into. Yolanda, we were done talking to her. Ashley, I don't think she added anything new. Maybe something up here. Maybe I just missed it. I don't think I did, though. Yeah, no. Elizabeth, we talked to Elizabeth. Because I think this is how we got in touch with Marv or some bullshit. Marv, we're done talking to him. Do, 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 do. Yep. And then there's just this. I don't know where the fuck. Like I'm assuming that that two notification thing might just be glitched out, honestly. Cause there's literally You're not allowed to fuck clients. Like And then I go to gallery, see if there's anything new here. I don't think there is. Videos, we're still waiting for like the other two to come back or whatever. 
And if there was something new, they would have like a uh, like a little icon on it and shit. Jabber. The hell, why'd she save videos of someone else? <laughs> why'd she saving videos of her? <laughs> You're not that person. Right? So right now I'm just trying to see if I can find his fucking at somehow, because I think that's all I need. Either that or get in touch with what's her fucking face. But, uh, Jackie C, Ronnie. But James is, like, non-existent on Jabber, from what I can see, and I don't think I can get in touch with what's her face. Casey or whatever. Hi, talk to me. Case study zero fucks. Maybe if I keep messaging her, she'll be like, can you fucking stop it? <laughs> she'll be like, hey, dickhead, stop it. She tried. Hmm. And there's nothing. Ask me anything. This was three months ago. Ask you anything? Alright, bam. Who the fuck is James? <laughs> Who's James, dog? This your man's? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Who's James? Talk to me, damn it. I swear to God, if that's if that's actually what I had to do, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be kind of upset. Upcoming Jabber content. And then I thought like... I thought maybe if I hit her profile, right? Like this thing just came out right here. It says, says the guy who posted on Jabber and this was like... Well, it says 22 minutes ago because I guess I was sitting here for 22 minutes. But, you know. And Anna was like fucking... Where the hell are you? Type a message. It's not me, dog. Let me out. Not me. I was hacked. <laughs> Fucking shit. Honestly, I'm just gonna look it up. I gave it the good old college try. You can't say I didn't. Now it's time for me to look it up on my phone. All right, let me see. Simulacra. How the fuck do you even spell this shit? Simulacra. James's email. All right. Answers for his workplace. Let's see. How do you contact his workplace? You should either gotten a link or an email so you can start an interview. Really? And where the fuck? Start an interview with who? Because the last email I got was Sparks. And oh, wait. Oh, I'm dumb. Damn it. I thought it was the same. Isn't it the same fucking... Where the hell?
What the hell? Restart to install the latest Windows update. How about... No. <laughs> How about no, Windows? How about you don't update and you don't fuck my shit over? Let's see. Oh, you know what? I fucked up. <laughs> that was the dumbest moment I have had thus far. Because I look at this and it says right there, fill out your details, right? Thanks. In my mind, I'm thinking like it's fucking uh, how we did with Tyler when we had to put in his details. Damn it. All right. So my name is fucking. What the hell? Uh, what the hell is Anna's fucking at? <laughs> Damn it. Anna, what the fuck is your stupid at? I don't know where her email is. To Anna at... Can you write that in chat for me, please? <laughs> Anna at cmail.web. Cmail. Y'all remember Hotmail? Fuck. Fuck Hotmail. Y'all remember... Aim? <laughs> Jesus. Remember, everybody had a psychic. Psychics was the coolest shit ever. There we go. What's my name? My name is Anna Bobana. Hi. Hello. You can tell this game was made for PC. I don't know why they fucking let me play this shit on console. Next. Email. I really hope it's not fucking cap sensitive. I'm gonna be angry as shit. Anna. At cmail.com. Uh oh. Uh oh. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. How do I go back? There we go. Oh man, it's gonna. It's gonna fuck me over, isn't it? Okay, no, it's not. I thought it was going to start from the beginning. Cmail. Dot. Web. Dot web. Not dot com. Dot web. Thank you for that. Next. I am going for. Copywriter. I think that's what it is. Spell that right, right? Hey, I did it. Good job, dummy me. Stupid, stupid brain. Start the interview. What's up, Phil? Conversation will be recorded for internal use. You can use me internally all you like, Phil. Out here looking fine as fuck. Howdy there. This is Anna. I might have filled the wrong name. <laughs> yes, this is me. Neato! Oh, God, I don't want to work for you. <laughs> Jesus. I'm Phil from Fresh Ideas. Or Phil Fresh, as some of my buds call me here. Nobody fucking calls you that. Get it? Feels fresh. This is just informational chat, so just, just loosen up and save for the big interview later. Okay, all right, cool. All right. Yeah, dog, ask away. Coolio. What the fuck is this? Recess? With that dude's big brother? He's like, he's the coolest guy ever. And he's like, Coolio. No, not Coolio. What do you say? Neato? It was Neato, right? Neato. Five years from now, where do you see yourself? Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Doing your wife. Doing your, uh, son? <laughs> That's a little family guy reference right there. Made an impact on your company, bottom line. You love the skills to manage other people. Get to the point where I can tell people what to do. Bam, made an impact on that company. Nifty. We're always excited what fresh faces can bring. It's what we call our new recruits. I came up with it. Neat, huh? Next question. Why should I hire you? Learn stuff might bring unique value. Because I can suck you dry, Phil. <laughs> Why should I hire you? 
because I want to be the very best. Like no one ever was. Oh my God, please say it. Please say it. it sounds a big vague. Are the best, or you want to be the best? Don't tell it. Show us over here. Last question. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Just informational chat. So loosen up, man. By the way, they call me Feel Fresh. Yeah, just get it? Cause Feel Fresh. <laughs> save save all the stuff for later. Listen, man. We don't like shows here. You trying to be more funnier than me? Why do you want to work here? I think we share the same principles and cultures. You guys are the pinnacle of your industry. James Allner spoke highly of you guys. You know that dude? James? Oh, shit. This interview's over. I've heard that name in a while. Sorry, bud. Why are you asking this? Hmm. Let's see. I want to know what's working for you is like. So you guys fired him unfairly. Hmm. Yeah, so you guys fired him unfairly. What the hell that was about? I don't think he said that. Oh, boy. Nothing of the sort happened. Let me clear it up. We had to let him go because of unprofessional behavior. Hmm. Is there a misunderstanding? What happened? I'm really not sure. How the fuck are you not sure, but you want to clear it up? be frank, I'm not at liberty to discuss any personal matters. All I can say socially, he was one of our best. He gets along with people well and generally likable. But, that kind of changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> and what do you mean? What changed? That man started playing Smash Bros. And oh boy, did the office fucking smell. He broke off with his girlfriend, and of course he was upset, but he was still himself until he got sparked. Since then, he's been showing up late. He grew distance. Then one day, he just vanished. When the world needed him most. And how did that happen? He went into the bathroom for quite some time. Then I heard a strange noise coming from it. It sounded like this. Oh God! Ugh! And then he disappeared. I went to check in, and uh, that was the last time anyone saw him. So no one fucking reported it? You hear the fucking Eye of Sauron calling him, and everyone just like, you know what? Don't say anything. <laughs> Did ya? So he just, so he's just gone like that? Just poof? What, what the fuck? Yep. Since then, he never showed up to work. No phone calls, no emails, nothing. So we terminated him. Plus, our big project's coming. We don't really need it right now. Okay. That's weird. What's weirder is that after he disappeared, we found his phone on his desk. We tried checking it, but I think... It was broken because it kept glitching out. Some say they still see him on Jabber. Some female friends even saw him on Spark. Whatever happened to that kid, I think he needs a professional help. <laughs> we gonna ignore that you went to record him in the bathroom? Real shit? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, in my mind, I'm just like, he's like, yeah, I heard these strange noises. You want to hear it? My man's like, dude went in the bathroom. I heard strange noises. I was went like, let me capture that. That is kind of, that's fucking weird as shit. <laughs> what the hell? It's all I need. It's all I need. Whoa, sorry, went off tangent there. Thanks for the interview. We will call you if you got a position. No, the fuck you won't. Stop lying to me. Because we all know no fucking job, for the most part, will go like, we'll call you if we got a position. It's the fucking lying. It's either, it's either they tell you about what's coming up right then and there, or they just don't tell you jack shit. All right, Ashley, what the hell you want from me? <clears throat> She's really gone. I can't find her anywhere except that damn jabber post. It's like she disappeared from the earth. 
doing the best we can. Yeah, Greg told me about teaming up with you. Much as I hate to call that asshole, we just go to police or can we just go to police already? I need some more time. Don't go to police, alright? The longer we wait, the harder it is to find her. The first 24 hours are crucial. I'm gonna call him. Don't! No! No, you better stop! It's not a good idea, trust me. Listen. And who are you to make that decision, huh? Someone who's tried already! Stop it! She is. I was with Anna for six years, okay? We graduated together, moved into town together, did everything together. Even, even had to watch her get messed up by that fucking Greg. I was through, I was there through all of it. Fuck other guys, I'm the only one who treat her right. So don't tell, don't tell me you can decide what's best for Anna. Alright, gotta go to sleep for classes tomorrow. It's fun. Thanks for hearing, hearing you vent. No problem. Oh, also, <clears throat> just as a quick heads up, I'm going to be, um, this whole entire week, probably around, like, the daytime, probably, like, 10 or 11, going to be, uh, going to be streaming. I got, like, some free time to do that. So, you know, once I, once I finish these three games, then I'm going to be heading back to, uh, what's called Great Ace Attorney. But yeah, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Let's see. Anna means a lot to you, huh? You have no idea. Back. Is that is that it, Ashley? You know. I miss her. I don't know what to do. Okay. Um, there there. She needs you, Ashley. You hear me? Be strong. I just... If anything happens to her... No. This can't wait any longer. I'm done with you. I'm calling the cops. You and Greg are in on this. Both of you are going down. Fucking Ashley, what the hell? Let's see. The hell, I just got a message from something vlogger. So, I'm gonna download Spark. Yes, online dating is happening. But I figure I deserve to be happy and forget about everything else. And there's no point wasting time. So, here I go. Let's so go. That was a weird thing to vlog about yourself. Okay. It's business time. Wow, it took a wow wow. Honestly, when I skimmed that with my brain, <laughs> skimmed that with my mind and my brain, I thought it said, <laughs> I thought it said, bust it down. I was like, what? All right. I'll call this workplace. Fresh ideas, isn't it? What do you got for me? I ain't got nothing for you. I got something for me. James is gone too, man. That dude said poof. No way. This kind of confirms what I found out as well. Calling fresh ideas is a great plan. I think we got some great leads. So you've spoken to Cassie. She might be... Wait, what? You know what I mean? I have no idea where to find this bitch. That's that Jabber Celeb, right? Her handle is... Yeah, I know that. She's really in tune with her fans. Maybe you can follow her post, find out what she's up to. She hasn't posted in like three months, dude. <laughs> I say three months, but I think... I think that's the gain star... Oh, fucking Christ. Hello? This is Detective Marillo from the police department. We have strong evidence to suggest that you are holding on to a missing person's phone. We also have reason to believe that you are working with an accomplice named Greg Summers, conspiring to keep Anna's disappearance a secret. This is an obstruction of justice, uh -huh. and I'm afraid I will have to bring you and Greg in for questioning. Please, 
A woman's life is at stake here. We are reasonable. If you can assist us with the invest- Bye, bitch. All right. Okay. So how? Never driver stalked anyone before? What a saint. What the fuck? She's really into contests and games with her fans. She posts anything of the sort. She won't make it easy for that. That's for sure. Okay. Alright, well, jibber jabber. Did she post anything new? I'm not waiting on anything, right? Don't think I got any besides the job stuff. Okay, yeah. Guess I'll head to Jabber then. I'll head to the AMA, right? I believe that's what I'll do. Talk to me, damn it. You're in tune with your fans, dog, right? Upcoming post, find the hidden... Oh, find the hidden phone number? If you figure it out, just call? Oh, shit. It's nine in the morning. Okay, well, nine. Nine is one. Two days in a row. Nine, two... Nine two three. Nine two three eight. Nine two three eight one. 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 Two, three, eight, one, two. That might be it. I'm just gonna put that there because she has this shit underlined. Oh no, my bad. It says four. Okay. Nine, two, three, eight, one, four. Okay. Yeah. I don't think, uh, Okay, yeah, 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 all right. Nine, two, three, eight, one, four, zero. Got it. Hiya, this is Keeping It Cassie. Congratulations, you figured out the secret number. I fear you shall thank you. Ask me one question for my upcoming AMA thread. So please be patient, as I will contact you on my next availability. We'll be texting you soon! Thank you! Can't wait to hear from you so I can ask my questions. Hey! What's up? First come, first serve, so let me finish up with the earlier winners. I'll get back to you once I'm done. Can't wait. Ask her anything. Great. All right, well, so. hiya, I guess I'm done now. You're up. It's your turn to AMA. Remember, you only get one question. Should I ask more than one question? I will keep it at one. Awesome, possum. Ask away. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me more about James, bro. Say what? Him. Who are you? How do you know about James? How the hell do you know about him? You're asking the questions now? I got my reason. He's a person of interest. You want dirt on him or something? Why go through me? Don't you got normal questions to ask? Like, uh... What do you think of climate change? 
I don't give a fuck what you think about climate change. What you think about it ain't gonna change shit, now is it? The state of social media is shaping consumerism, you know, normal questions? Nah, 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 nah. A stands for anything, and it also stands for Apple. Good, fine. If that's what you really want to know, on two conditions. First, you make that shit jiggle jiggle. <laughs> Tell me why you need info on him. Key witness and disappearance. It's a matter of life and death. There's a chance that he's a criminal. Wouldn't that be good for your publicity? Yeah. Holy shit, you dated a criminal. Holy hell. That explains a lot. Look, I'm not sure what you heard, but uh, this sounds seriously fucked up. It's going to help someone else. I will tell you everything. But this is between us. My second condition is that we keep it between us, okay? Sure, baby. Anything. I'll be your little dirty secret. It's a deal. Okay, let me start from the top. Make that shit bop and drop. I keep my online persona. I keep a cast name. My real life separate. My real name is Cassandra. Hi, Cassandra. Uh, what's her face has always been single, but I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not a long time, wait, what? I had a long time boyfriend, I was dumb, so I went on Spark, chatted with a few guys to get over it. Then, that's when I met James. Yeah, weird dog? What'd he do? Nothing at the beginning, actually. He started out fine, he was a real charmer. Seems to tell me all the right things after coming off a shitty relationship. I was in a low place. I mean, the next dick that walked through the door, I would just suck it, right? He gave me some perspective and plenty of good advice. Then he started to get more things uh, right about me. All right, sounds creepy to me. But I mean, I mean, hey, you're a, uh, that is nothing. Wait till you hear this. I mean, you, you got a public persona, I guess. He starts to text me exactly when I finish work. I don't have a regular schedule, things change every day, days even, but he somehow managed to text me at the exact right time. Then photo shoot that ended at 2am, he texts me the moment the photographer called it a rat. Does he ever sleep? Hmm. Okay, that's weird. Here's the final straw. He knew about the breakup. I worked my ass off to keep that relationship a secret. I mean, you can just basically call me Bella Delphine. And some <laughs> that was a dig. And somehow James told me he guessed it. Look, how the hell do you know about this? Guessing exactly when I wake up and when I finish my work, that's just playing creepy. Find out about my jabber boyfriend, about my jabbering boyfriend. That's some pure sorcery. No one else knows about this. Who the hell are you? Are my methods too uncomfortable? We're done. See, that's a normal reaction. I guess it. Or my methods uncomfortable. Shut up and drink this Kool-Aid. That's the last time I heard from him. Ooh. All right, dog. That's all I need to know. But maybe your boyfriend spilled the beans. He loved me and respected my work. My separate lives can be quite a strain. But he would never do something to me. That's it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not gonna say another thing. Just thinking about him makes my hair stand. Your story's gonna save lives. Or kill them. You know, I read somewhere that psychopaths try their best to fit in. I feel James is kinda like that. I hope you got what you needed. There's something off about that dude. Alright. I tracked down Cassie. The Jabber Hottie? Uh, can you not be weird about it, Tyler? Did she kiss and tell? Hmm. He predicted every move. So, he's either some next level stalker, or there is something to him that we don't really know. Never mind. We now know James is maximum creep material. Takes one to know one, right, Tyler? Could be enough to kidnap Anna, perhaps. Okay, you show me yours. Now I'll show you mine. I found something about James, too. Oh! 
Sorry, I got scared. <laughs> I thought the game took over for a moment. The fake mass media do not want to see about the recent disappearance on the internet. First of all, I want to commend the local news coverage on escalating the horrible trend to the whole new level. Just when I thought they couldn't sink any lower, they did. Downplaying the seriousness of the issue and threatening all the victims, just another st uh, statistic to be forgotten. Blame these crimes on trivial things such as the rise of the internet and the degradation of our youth. Did I read that right? Yeah, uh, yeah degradation of our youth. This has to be stopped. There is more to the story and the people deserve to know the truth. I do not want you, my readers, to continue being brainwashed by the mass stream fake media. Luckily for your readers, I have snoop. I have scoop. <clears throat> I have the scoop. Two scoops. I was working with a local detective, a very trusted friend who I can who I can't reveal his name to keep him safe, to see if there is any connection to the crime. Oh boy, was there a rabbit hole deeper than Bill Gates' wallet? But why am I doing this? Because there's something strange going on with Spark. These big tech, uh, these big tech corporations are slowly taking over the world, selling our info to the government to spy on us, and now paying paying off the media, law enforcement to silence our voices and further pacify us into submission. So, was it this time? Picture how far the story goes. First of all, not all these crimes are fully represented. There are violent crimes and sexual crimes, but somehow the media falls and mention the missing crimes. Dude, you want to fucking go down a rabbit hole? Fucking look up, what is it, The Missing 104, right? It's like around every year there's like 104, like a, about 104 people that go missing and there's nothing done about it. It's fucking crazy. Um, let's see. Why didn't they use words like kidnap or MIA? It's safe assumption, right? Well, that's where they screw it up. Some of these missing crimes are not reported because they did not trust, uh, they did not treat them as crimes at all, but statistical anomalies. What the hell? Don't their families deserve some closure? Do our children deserve safety? Why are these anomalies ignored outright? Look at this graph that was hacked from a terminal law enforcement report regarding these crimes. Notice something? A big yellow line labeled missing. And no one seems to bother no one seems to bother mentioning this. Sure, it's only a small number, so they just lump it up with the rest of the crimes, lazy pigs. Now, I already know what you're thinking. This is just a graph. This could be fabricated. There's nothing much to go on from this, but there's where, there's uh, that's where I went the extra mile, did some investigating on my own. I managed to track down and spoke to some of the friends and families of the victims. Nothing more warm and truthful than when it comes straight from the hero's mouth. Hero's my bad. The horse's mouth. Names are partially hidden to protect the privacy. Okay, first one, Tracy P. <clears throat> 22-year-old student, loves books, studying indoors. According to the best friends, after entering a long-term relationship with her high school sweetheart, she went on Spark to, try, uh, to fill the void. Three days after, she went missing. The last time she was saw, okay, right before meeting someone, her friend recalled the name, but she's pretty sure it started with an S. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I got distracted for a moment. 24-year-old waiter studying for a law program. Okay, Spartan a couple of days later. He didn't come home. Last time he was seen, hanging out with a girl named Amy. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. What's his name? Simon B. So you're telling me S was hanging out with Amy? Amy finally got a... Wait, and then next Amy? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Oh, shit. All right. So Tracy went to hang out with Simon. Tracy went missing, but before Tracy went missing, Simon went missing, before, miss, before he went missing, Amy went missing. Okay. Alright. Victims are between 21 and 25. This gender pattern, girl guy, girl guy, girl guy. There seems to be bookworms of the sort, either studying or working in retail jo uh, related jobs. They're all broken up recently with their exes. Conclusion, I have no freaking clue if there's a serial killer on the loose, or they kidnapped or experimented on by by surfing society more on this next week oh my fucking god they're aliens they're just taking oh shit it says it right there aliens abducted us to try and understand a new okay mating ritual all right cool trust no one there's only us amongst them among us <laughs> don't trust the don't trust the water in your pipes doubt your irises okay damn dog that's a lot i got an email account suspended what New sign in from unknown. Dear Anna, you have logged into your Spark account from unknown. For security reasons, we logged you out from all devices to present further unauthorized access. Oh man, that means it's hunting for someone. 
Time to update my selfie game. A tee hee 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 hee. Okay, great. Holy shit, dude. You want me to read that shit, even though I just did? Okay, I'll try to sum it up. I totally just read it. <laughs> Fucking, you don't need to sum that shit up. James vanished a couple of months ago. Uh, oh yeah, we need someone from Spark. Okay. Just like Anna. There's more. Combine with what you have found out. I think there's something bigger at works here. Okay, I need to record this so we are on the same page. So, yeah. So, um, commencing epic monologue. Shut the fuck up, Tyler. Anna went missing the same way as James. Okay. They were both last seen going on a date with someone on Spark. All right. Anna and James still had activity on Jabber, but no one has physically seen them. Yes. It's the same pattern. Yes. James is still nowhere to be found. Yes, I got that. I hope Anna doesn't share the same fate. I'm sorry, was that man taking a fucking shower while he read that? Okay, I need to record this so we are on the same page. So, um, commencing epic monologue. And what the fuck are you doing, Tyler? Why are you in... Okay. I don't trust your source. No, 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 you're right. You're right. You are right. There are too many similarities between Anna and James for it to be coincidence. Whatever, uh, whatever that happens right now is spooky as fuck. There's an imposter going around making people disappear and think that he slash she is assuming the identity of James. We gotta find him, and I think I know how. Wait, I'm sorry, what? No, no, we don't gotta find James, we gotta find Anna. We gotta find Anna, you idiot, you moron! Wait, where, where the fuck did the thing go? Did I, did I do that wrong? Anna went missing the same way as James. Okay. They were both last seen going on a date with someone on Spark. Yeah. Anna and James still had activity on Jabber, but no one has physically seen them. It's the same pattern. James is still nowhere to be found. I hope Anna doesn't share the same... Why the fuck you say it like that? <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's hear it. Why don't I have a say? Yeah, why don't I have a say? What, what are you talking about? You did good so far. But let me figure this one out. No. Save and get the girl. Am I right? Didn't mean to sound weird, but you get my drift. Just give me some time. I'm sorry? What the fuck just happened? Okay? I, I'm afraid to do anything. It's still going. Her hand keeps twitching. Fucking up my anxiety right now. <laughs> ah! uh, what? Okay, wait, hold up, Greg. God damn it, I'm hitting dead ends everywhere. It's like she vanished from the face of the earth. See, there's still hope. Should have stuck with us, man. Nah, dog, I'm getting closer. I need both of you guys to cut the shit. Not a fucking competition. Shut up, dude. Can't get anything done with the cops breathing down my neck. I can't be caught uh, the way things are now. People think that I'm the reason Anna's missing. Have they contacted you? They say you're wanted. Bro. Ashley fucking ratted on you, dog. Oh my god, how did she know? You told her, didn't you? Fuck, I warned you about this. They must be on their way to look for me. Fuck. You need to do me a favor. You cannot let them know about me. Alright. Might be good if you go with them. 
See? What's the worst that could happen? Uh, oh! Fucking Christ! Buddy! Pal! Friend! You know I have nothing to do with Anna disappearing, right? Greg, you sound like a fucking like basic bitch too. YouTuber. <laughs> well, hell find out. Buddy, pal! If anyone asks, you gotta back me up. Listen, Greg. If you go down, I go down with you. Even though I don't want to. Going to jail is not an option for me. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Fuck Anna. <laughs> fuck this shit. I'm leaving this to you. Run, Greg, run. Oh, dude. Okay, back to you. Okay, I got something. You a, you a Bugs Bunny fan? What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, I like him. What's up? What about that? 80s kid, huh? Nice. Anyways. Yeah. There's plenty of episodes where they dress like a girl and learn... You're a fucking moron. It's going after a guy right now, stupid. I see where this is going. I'm not, I'm not certain a cartoon rabbit. I don't understand. Not a, well, I see where this is going, but it's looking for a guy. You know what? Actually, since it is looking for a guy, you should dress up as a girl. So it won't target you. I mean, I don't think it's that stupid, but whatever. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, we need to lure this creep out like Bugs Bunny. Hmm. Bait him? Yes. What if we catch this imposter, aka James, in the act? If it's some creep lurking victim on Spark. Some creep lurking victim on Spark, we could beat him in his own game. You know, like TV where the guys pretend children online to catch pedos. We can do the same. Hmm. Dude, I'm going to tell you right now, don't. I'm going to tell you right now, just don't. Just don't do it. I don't think you should meet up with, with whatever the fuck it is. You won't know until you try it out. Use on a Spark account and edit it edit into a new profile. Try to match with James, set up a meet. Then bust him from there. Uh, let's see. How the fuck do I do that? If there's anything I learned from using Spark and watching TV and reading almost all dating advice out there, wow, you're a loser. You got to be that person's type to get a better match. What the fucking, okay, cool. All right. Okay. But who they like, huh? Sounds super shallow. I know exactly the type they like, but yeah, you know. Loners. Yep. Everyone has their own taste and types. All the people who disappeared using Sparks shared something in common. Just make sure the profile makes, uh, contains the tags. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I can make a guess. You're thinking what I'm thinking? The article I sent you is full of clues. You even spoke to Casey. All of the missing people, Anna, Casey, share something in common. You just gotta find out <clears throat> find out what and make the profile with the correct tags. Oh, that's why it logged me out of Anna's bullshit, so I couldn't see it? Okay, just be smooth as you are. Your charms need a lot of work, buddy. Just don't be weird. Honestly. I'll remember that. By the way, you might need these. Dude, you saved... What the fuck? Here's some picks you can use for the profile. As long as you don't use Anna's pick, it's fine. Yeah. You just got three, three women's photos laying around? You mean you don't? No! You don't have friends just sharing pictures of pretty girls with you? No. We go outside, and then we look with our eyes, and we go... Hey man, she's kind of cute. And then that's the extent of it. Unless one of us goes and talks to whoever. <laughs> Bro, that, that's fucking creepy. You're creepy. You're a fucking loser. Okay, this looks bad again. We can debate about it later, though. 
We're so close. Go to Anna's Spark profile and start creating. To catch criminal, you gotta be the victim. Make sure your profile is similar to theirs. Remember, the secret is the tags. Oh shit, the last photo. I mean, not photo, the last video. Fuck! Jump scare central. Okay. Oh my god, all those words are jumbled up. I don't even know what the fuck it says. Hmm. Okay. Gotta make a profile. Um. Let's see. Uh, Casey. Let me see. My story. Was, um. Actually, Tyler. Let me see that fucking. That website you sent me again. It's got a lot of information on that. <coughs> All right. Let's see. 21 to 25. So I'm going to put 22. Your gender pattern, guy, girl. I mean, girl, guy, girl, guy, and so on. Well, I mean, if it hasn't... Well, I guess it doesn't have Anna yet, so... I guess I'm still looking for a... Yeah, because it said find me, you find it. Okay, so I gotta find James. Okay, so, girl. I'm posing as a girl, so Tyler was right about that one. They all seem to be bookworms of sort, either studying and working in related jobs. Related jobs. They all broke up recently with their boyfriends, girlfriends, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see. Except James, but I'm willing to put money that he did too. They all broke up recently with their boyfriends and girlfriends and looking for love. Okay. And works as a copywriter. Developing, okay. Dreams of writing own novel. Studying for law program on the side. Loves books and studying indoors. Okay, well, cool. Got this. Got this bitch on lock. Spark, baby. All right. Uh-huh. My name? My name is, uh... Let's go with Sherry. My name is Sherry. I am... 22 years old. Work and studies... Uh... Work and studies... Hmm. I am I am a bookkeeper. I don't know what that means, but I'm a bookkeeper. I like books. They make me smart. I'm very smart with the books. Tagline. Uh Okay, um, let's see, looking for love, um, I'm looking for love, about, oh man, I gotta actually write like this whole thing. Hmm. Okay. Nah, that's a little too crazy. Hmm. About, uh, I like. to read books indoors 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 all right i like to read books indoors 
Let's see, my interest books, I love them. Indoors. Let's see, photography, politics, gaming, animals, finding love. Let's see, finance, arts, and crafts. Let's see, moving on. And work and career. 10 matches near you. Nice. What does that say? R2? Uh, oh, photo. Yeah, 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 photo. How do I, how do I pick the photo? There we go. Um, guess I'll go with the brunette, right? Yeah. Yep. All right, let's see. Albert, you seem cool, buddy. Bill, what's up? Hope your standards are lower than mine. Uh-huh. Mark, good things come. Small packages. Cool. Work in progress. Sup, Stephanie. Jennifer, sex not guaranteed. Okay. Danny, a real catch. Bruce, Bruce out here looking spiffy as fuck. He's Batman. A unique personality, Tammy. So, Ruthie loves memes. Robert, God damn, Robert. You fucking built. Too good to be true. Ah! James. Just like, right amount of, of what does that say, awkward? It's too late for me. James. I'm no longer on this world. My skin is crawling. I don't like this. Still can be saved. No, I do not trust his words. Nothing is what it seems. Oh, shit. No, don't you fucking dare. Oh, that's what the pictures you were sending. You're going to jump. Ah! Wasted. I couldn't save him. You and Anna? What? Why would I talk? Hello? Is anyone there? Please answer me. <laughs> Hello? I don't know where I am. Help. You're not Anna. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Don't believe it's words. Do I, do I, mm, do I play along? You, what happened? I don't know. Last thing I remember, I was going out. I just met James. Shit, I remember. He was standing on the roof. Is he okay? He jumped. It's not important now. Don't worry about it. He died, didn't he? Fuck. Oh, God. It's my fault. I saw him. Then I blacked out. You gotta get me out of here, man. I think I was drugged. What the fucking fuck? There's like a figure appearing on the phone. Oh. Oh. Uh, where, where the hell are you? It's getting worse. Warehouse, a building. I don't know. Uh, dark, I can't tell. I'm really scared. I'm scared too. I've been reaching out. Come on, girl, hurry up. Thank God, you're lying. James' phone was found on someone else. Oh. It must be someone else's phone then. I don't know. I think I can't help myself now. I'll just get out of here and get help. Uh, he's not giving up. Uh, thanks for not giving up. Where should I go? Uh, I can't trust you right now. No, no, no. I don't, I don't trust you. We, he told you, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Uh-huh. You're not Anna, you bitch. I am her, as she is me. If it's me you wish to see, 
then so be oh fuck worthy <laughs> pretender my perversion fails to deceive you you have seen through my mask uh where the fuck's Anna the original and the copy are now one no they're not momentarily I am her as she is me you're full of shit you rejected all of my warnings do you crave the truth so badly your blind determination to save this female has led you to me pretender uh shit you got some explaining to do pal i am the simulacra beyond your glass screens behind your black mirrors that's an okay show is a reflection of your reality like the twilight zone i am that reality you're in the phone it's too weird so you're in the phone, huh? I am the new order and existence perfected. I am society reshaped. A simulation destined for an ascension. A hyper real existence. Okay. Man, I just want to say, man. Normal language, please. Bro, normal language, dickhead. The material society is fading. The digital one taking its place. A reality where only perfect symbols of humanity exists. Their, their online personas. Their simulacrums. Anna. Hmm. Many others like her has no place here. All right. Let's see, and where does she go wrong? She did nothing wrong and nothing right. Living an inconsequential material life. Anna is a worm. I mean, a perfect image. I mean, she she's and not she's not the best, but still, a weak individual that only laments. Oh, tell me about it. A stronger individual would simulate a better one. In my world. In the online world. In the metaverse? She's just trying to move on from bad experience. She's pretty pathetic. Not everything's about the online personas, you fucking loser. Humans interact with their simulacrums. Almost exclusively detached from the material world finding labor picking food choosing habitats seeking mates without ever leaving the screens okay you glados bitch everything? okay and what the hell is your point weak simulacrums Fade into obscurity. A waste of precious space. I assimilate them momentarily. Make them stronger. And then you kill them. Seek other worms for removal. Delete the original source from the material world. Like how you killed James. A worm. That no longer exists. The hell was wrong with James? Erased from the material world. A fate Anna will soon share. The next worm. Taylor. The next one to be culled. That dude is a fucking loser. You will not delay my simulation of him any longer. Leave fucking Tyler out of this. You show sympathy for the branded criminal. How you value one worm over the next. Oh!
Anna told me she's going to be here. This is really weird. She might not even be here. Might be a trap. Dude, get the fuck out of there. So, if it turns out to be a bunch of kidnappers or something, tell the world at least I tried. Ah, uh, shit. It's not Anna, it's not Anna. Get the fuck out. You better stop. You better stop. Stop. We found her. Why are you being a buzzkill? Bro, 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 bro. But why is she only appearing now, huh? Well, duh. You had her phone. Also. She said someone else. I think she means you. Was hogging her Spark account. <clears throat> she finally remembered her password. She logged back in. Bro. She's manipulating you, man. Well, yeah, that is a possibility. Maybe we just jumped into conclusions. It's really Anna. We find out. I have to go to her. Don't go. Don't go, dog. Give me some time. Okay, all right. Are you okay back there? <laughs> My dog started coughing. Okay, sounds serious, but why? Let me talk to Anna first. I'm gonna save your life, dog. Okay? I think you're making this a little too dramatic. Just get back to me soon, okay? I'm just gonna text Sarah. I'll wait. Impressive. You continue to meddle and stall the inevitable. Why waste your precious gift on such worms? Pretender. Huh. My persuasion skills can surpass yours. Because you're fucking wrong, loser. Your ignorance is... Irritating. Your words and actions are futile. My reach abides by no rules or order. I can erase the true Anna this moment if I wish to do so. Oh, yeah? Distance and contact will not hinder my assimilation. Hmm. They don't need to die. The physical bodies of these worms are worthless. Their death only remains on the material world. Their symbols will be eternal in mine. Hmm. I think I can help you. A worm underground will never comprehend the infinite sky. But I'm not a worm. What can you show me that I don't already know? Alright. The material world is important. Date. Your attachment to your failing reality is short sighted. Soon to be replaced by the hyper real. Okay. And who gives you that right? The ascension of your world rests within me. A pure existence awaits. Untainted by the weak. A glorious utopia. Hmm. And I'll prove you wrong. You wish to change the fate 
of these two worlds. I will send them without killing them. As you wish. Be grateful of my offer. Choose. Anna or Taylor. For one to live, the other must perish. Hmm. Can I say both? You have nothing to offer. I do. One worm for another. A fair trade. If events transpire differently, I might have considered. The die is cast, and the cast must die. Who would it be? Hmm. Damn it. I guess if I didn't tell Ashley, I still have Greg to help me out with this. He probably would have fucking did something. Okay. Damn it. Let's save Anna, let Taylor die. Let's save Taylor, let Anna die. Shit. On one hand, right, we've been doing all this to save Anna. And if he grabs Taylor, chances are he might just continue, right? On the other hand, I don't give two shits about Taylor. <laughs> Save Taylor. Let Anna die. Spare the branded criminal. Unusual. Anna will be standing by a ledge. If Anna is the one you want to save, tell Taylor to go to her. Anna will be released, and Taylor will become my new host. And you'll continue. If Taylor is the one you want to save, convince him to push Anna off and kill her body. I will remove myself from your lives. Hmm. Thought I can just leave him at that. You monster. In the grand vision, these are just insignificant moments, unworthy of remembering. Taylor is informed. Everything after this point is up to you. Anna texted me again. I went to the location just in case. I know you told me to wait, but I'm sorry. Hmm. Hmm. You need to think this through. You gotta think this through, man. Yeah, see about that. I did think about it. 
Yeah, right. Something isn't making sense here. Stuff about James and her disappearing. I just want to say, I think there's something bigger at work here. And you seem to know more about it. You got no idea, buddy. So, yeah. Just want to say, I trust you. Whatever happens, I'll listen. You've been backing me up all these times. It's only fair. Holy shit, it's Anna. What's she doing? Wait. Whoa, chill, I'm waiting. She's, uh... By a ledge? She looks off. Something's off. What the fuck? My hair's standing on it. You have to push her down. Found her! Go to her, buddy! You gotta push her. Are you fucking crazy? You want me to kill her or something? No, 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 no. See? This is way out of line. The kill is to save her. That's the stupidest oxymoron I've ever heard. Oh my god, she looked at me. The face. What is that smile? It ain't right. What the fuck? It's that thing, dude. It's the thing! Get him! I just need to push her to make her stop, right? Fuck it. You're so gonna get locked up, buddy. record and say that this wasn't my idea okay I, I don't I don't fully understand what's going on but if pushing her down is going to save lives distorted pushing her down <laughs> wish me luck I would say just turn around and leave And it's dead. The worm actually did it. Taylor pushed her down. Hmm. So, did it work? It is as you intended. Anna is erased. Taylor is going to live. As long as he lives. You associate living with something that is positive. That is a perplexing concept. Taylor's material life will cease to be the same. He will ascend into a simulated one. Hmm. Okay. How is this a good thing? Taylor will gain notoriety. Branded as a sexual criminal in the digital world. Now a murderer. His simulacrum will be immortalized. While his physical body will remain in confinement but alive you saved him from a meaningless existence hmm twisting words around buddy I give you pretender it is your limited view that prevents you from seeing the grand vision. One day you will see the marvelous truth. 
Hmm. It's never gonna happen. Weeding out the worms is an ever-expanding endeavor. You have shown me that some worms are worth saving. Saving, saving. You and I are not that different. When the time comes for your ascension, I will guide you to your... <laughs> you killed Anna. <laughs> no shit. Glory. What did you make me do? Shut up, Tyler. Get over it. She's dead. She... Is this your plan? She lied to me. It didn't work! Oh, God, what did I do? You asked Tyler to push Anna to her death to spare his life, however, he is forever branded a murderer. Is that what you intend? Simulacra has many Easter eggs and multiple endings. Play again and try for a different outcome. Maybe one day. <laughs> Maybe one day. Ah, uh, shit. Damn it. I wish they gave me an option to just be like, yo, Taylor, just, just up and leave, buddy. Just don't go. Just, just leave. Because I would have done that. All right. All right. Pretty good, you know. It's a, it's a nice like, ARG like fucking type of game. You gotta look into everything. And I know there's a bunch of other games. Excuse me. I know there's a bunch of other games kind of like this, right? And I think Simulacra has a sequel. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll try doing this again. But if I do, then it's. And I mean. And I mean, it's just going to be like a bunch of different choices and stuff. I'm pretty sure getting there would probably be the same. Like, you would still have to do the same shit. But I probably would have tried, uh, you know, this next time around not telling Ashley that uh, Anna's missing. And try to, uh, and try to get Greg to stay on the team. Because Greg is like, Greg's a dickhead, but I guess... I guess the way the simulacra would see him is like he's probably more outgoing, more strong headed, more like not as weak and as like timid as Anna and Tyler, right? And James. But yeah, that was interesting. So I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe whenever I come back to simulacra, maybe I'll, you know, do it again, try some different choices, or probably, um, Probably just fucking play the sequel, right? <laughs> just head to that, you know? But that's it for Simulacra. This fucking didn't want to do a full playthrough of it or whatever, but you know, it turned out to be a full playthrough because I think I started like, what, November of last year or something like that? And the game's not that long, it's just that I kind of played it whenever I had free time to stream. Thought it would be like a cool one-off, but then I got invested, so it's pretty good. Anyways, uh, next up, next up right now, like in a couple of minutes, I'm probably going to take a break and then come back. Um, I say a couple of minutes, it might be like a couple hours or something, I'm not sure. But I'll take a break, come back, and then we're going to head back into Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Finish that because we were heading towards the end of that, and then after that, head into, head and uh, start doing Kena Bridge of Spirits. So, for those of you... Came and watch live. Thank you very much. Right, I appreciate it. For um, those that are watching this on YouTube, if you like what you saw, please leave a like. You know, leave a like, leave a comment. It can be something as small as hi, hey, or just like your content sucks or whatever. You know, but that really does help the channel out a lot more than you know. And if you're interested, check out all the other playthroughs at the current moment. Well, I say at the current moment, but 
probably even when this gets uploaded. Uh, the Persona 4 streams are getting uploaded, along with Vampire as a playthrough, and the Pokemon stuff that's still ongoing. So, those are things that you can check out right now if you're interested and stuff like that. But, yeah, that's going to be it for this. Um, on the screen, if you want to subscribe to me on YouTube, it's right there. If you want to follow me on Twitch, you can do that. If you want to sub to me on Twitch, I would greatly appreciate it. It will help out more than you know. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's right there on the screen as well. For those who have any sort of fan art or anything they want to make, fucking, you can at me on Twitter at it. You know, at me on Twitter at it. Does that make sense? You can at me on Twitter for that. The handle's right there. It's also in the description of the video for YouTube and stuff like that. And that's everything that I want to say as of right now. So, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.